I played my role as a father. I played my role by sending you to the best law school in, the, in this country. And what do I get in return? What do I get? That pregnancy you have there? That's what I get in return. Look, my political career is more important to me than this bastard in your world. Okay? Honey, honestly, I really think you are overreacting in this issue. Yes. It's not her fault that Frank Afiasi died in that car crash. Huh? We all know they both love each other. And that child in her womb will be their only memory. Think about it. Well, look, keep quiet. Keep quiet, woman. Look, I can't stand the chance of nursing my only daughter's pregnancy right under my roof. I can't. My political career in the society cannot be ridiculed. It cannot. I'm even more angry at you. I'm more angry at you. If you had guarded her right as a mother, maybe she wouldn't have gotten pregnant. Hey, Daddy, Daddy, I never failed you. Yes. You sent me to one of the best schools in the world and I came out with good grades. Of course. Frank had good intentions towards me before he died in that car crash. Frank is that son you never had, Daddy. No, that is no more. The only thing you can do for me is to allow me keep this baby. Yes, please. Because that will be the only memory of him that I'm going to have. Rosie, he shouldn't have died. He shouldn't have died. He should have fought death like a man that he was. No, if only would I have spent so much money on him. He shouldn't have died. Look at the guy crush, look at him. Now that he's dead, Rosie, you must get rid of that pregnancy. No, that get rid of that bastard. Do it, do it, please, please. I see that you have chosen your path. And I promise you, you will regret it. No, Daddy, no, Daddy, please. Get your things and leave this out. No, no. Daddy, go and take no, your things and leave this out. I want everyone to see you again. Get out! Please, 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 don't, don't. Get your things and leave this out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. You and I were like fireworks. What we had and shared was real. You took the very part of me, you know. Now you left me in this lonely world I told a man to be And I saw the perfect we Didn't know that this world of ours will soon be gone Oh, baby How do I leave this world without you here? Looking around, I can find you. Where are you gonna come back, baby? I don't wanna believe your girl. Come back to me, come back to me. Looking around, I can find you. Where are you gonna come back, baby? I don't wanna believe your girl. Come back to me, come back to me. My car, my car broke down. I, I need your help. Oh. I, don't, I don't understand. Do I look like a mechanic? Or does my luggage look like a toolbox? Hey, hey, hey. That was harsh. My brother only asked a question. Oh. You are his fighter, right? Well, I'm sorry. I am not a mechanic. No, and I, I don't know where you can find one. I'm not actually looking for... I'm not... Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not looking for a mechanic, okay? I just... My car is overheating. I need water. We don't have... was rude. Why would she throw water at you? She gave us what we needed, okay? She has a good heart. She, she has this a bad heart. She... Uh, let me drop you off, okay? Once I cool down the car, I can drop you off. Thank you for the water, by the way. Thank you. I don't need your help. Look, I can see you're not in a good mood. Um, I, Please, it's... can you just let me be? I'm waiting for somebody and I don't need all, I don't need all of this. I'm harmless, honestly. I can see you're not in a good situation right now. 
okay but i'm not trying to do anything weird or anything like that like i'm i'm i can see you're a beautiful lady and everything but i'm harmless i just want to take you to a place where you can calm down okay you help me i'm trying to help you out listen i don't i didn't mean to be rude no you know just, i'm not in a good mood right now okay i'm having a serious problem and i don't want anybody to get involved I'm pregnant. I got pregnant for my fiance, who is unfortunately late. He died in a car crash. My, my, my father never liked him. And then my father asked me to leave the house. Apparently he has disowned me. So I am not in a good frame of mind. I just want to be on my own. I don't want no issues, please. It's not safe. It's getting late. The sun is dropping. You can't be a beautiful lady walking on the streets on your own, I'm please. I'm my way. I don't no, no, know no, 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 no. I'm harmless. I'm harm. I'm, no, I'm not trying. No, I'm not trying to do anything. Like I, you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're everything, right? But I'm not seeing your beauty. I'm seeing your situation right now. So please, just let me help you. I'll take you to a place where you'll be safe. Also, you get yourself self together, please. I'm begging you, please. Let me. Can I? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me help you. And thank you for the water too. Yeah. It's not your fault the guy died. And your dad is only human. It's not everybody that can take the shame of their child having a child outside wedlock. You know, but just give him some time. He'll come around. Please. Please. Okay. I'm sorry, the way I spoke to you earlier. No, it's fine. It's fine. Please. So, I, Thank um, you for everything. It's okay. It's okay. I'm Alex. What should I call you? Dima Rosie. It's a beautiful name. Cute. Alright, stop crying. Please eat and so you can rest. Okay? Alex. I'd hey. like to have a word with you now. Sure, 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 sure. Uh please eat, okay? I'll be back in a second. Okay? Everything will be fine. So. This is totally wrong. You meet a rude girl on the street. Someone you barely know. You brought her to your house. What if she's evil? <sighs> Mimi, you don't have to know someone to help them. Okay, and Rosie is a good person. She's not evil. She's a very good person. Oh. Yeah. You know her name? Yeah. You know, I'm trying to understand you, but I can't. Send this girl back to the slump where she belongs. Mm -hmm. Because there is no way I will stay under the same roof with this idiot. Reduce your voice. Jeez. Besides, he's pregnant for someone else. What is your plan exactly? Um, I'm sorry. I think your sister is right. I mean, I'm a total stranger. You don't even know who I am. No, 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 I'll just go. No, 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 no. It's okay. Sorry. I'll talk to my sister. Okay. Don't, don't even. Please, listen, don't. listen. I have been through a lot already, and I do not want to be a problem to anybody. You're not going to be a problem to me. Okay, I promise you. I'll talk to her. She's I'll not happy with me. I'll talk to her. She's a good person. She's a really good person, you know. It's just that she's in a bad mood. Okay? Just eat. Okay, stop crying. Yeah? Mm. Thank you. Please talk to her. I don't like I her. I will. Mood. I promise you. I promise you. Oh, hello Rosie. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Alex. How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah? How's your night? It was beautiful. You are ready to go out? Yes, I am. And this is for you uh, to get whatever you need to get for the day. Alex, <laughs> who would ever believe that you didn't know me from anywhere? You are this nice to me. Thank you so much for everything you've done. God will replenish you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And I pray that God also puts me in a position to be of help to you tomorrow. Exactly. 
Amen. Thank you. Amen to that. And I was even going to tell you, um, I want to go out to search for a job. What? That's after I'm done cleaning. Yes. Why? I don't... I need to get a job. I need to help. I need to contribute to the running of the house. Ah. You do this all by yourself and it's, the load is too much. I'm not complaining, am I? Have ah. I ever complained to you? I haven't complained to you, okay? Besides, in your condition, you don't need to stress yourself. What condition? I'm not sick. I'm just pregnant. Besides, I need to exercise. It, it, it helps during delivery, so... Okay. It's, it's good for okay. me. Okay, you win, you win. Uh, why don't I drop you off at your job interview? Oh, no, don't, you don't have to. I need to still wash the dishes and, you know, tidy up the whole place. Oh, that me. might take a while. Yes. Uh, okay, I'll just head out then. All have right. a great day. Thank you. You too. Overheard you saying you're going to look for a job. Yes. Who did you leave those dishes for? Those dirty dishes? No, I was still going to wash them. I just wanted to tidy up this whole place and then I'll go and wash. I don't care. I don't give two hoots. Get your cheap ass into that kitchen and wash those dirty dishes. Does this place look like the slum they picked you out from? Don't get me pissed, so wash the dishes. Nonsense. Amy, what is wrong with you? Must you always be rude to me? What have I done wrong to you? I don't know why you always harsh. You just hate me for no reason. If I've ever done anything that you didn't like, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I will never forgive you. The only reason you will earn my forgiveness is if you get your daddy self out of this house. Don't get me peace, like I said earlier on. You don't belong here. Look at this thing. Who is the pregnant woman you have in your house? I see Mimi has been gospel to you. Alex, you will answer my question. Well, it's actually not what you're thinking, to be honest. What would people think that you're having a pregnant woman in your house? I don't care what people think. I never Okay? I do what pleases me, what pleases my soul. That's what I do. I don't care about other people's opinions of me. And I'm single. I don't owe anybody any explanation. That's just you. Alex, you will not walk out on me. Alex, come back here. But I told you I couldn't make it. I told My goodness. Is, is that not my Frank? Or is this someone that looks like him? No. No, 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 it can't be him. What? Why is the resemblance so much? It looks so much like him. I was smart enough to have escaped her. And I'm sure she saw me. Maybe she wasn't too sure. But she slightly followed me before I humped a tricycle and zoomed off. Wow. Hi, my guy. You need to be careful how you move around town. Hmm. Man, this is risky. You might, you might not be lucky next time. Uh, I'm nervous right now. So baby, I have to speak to my father. I made him understand that you're the one I truly love. And I want to be with you. 
So he decided to upgrade you to the level of the person he would want to have as a son-in-law, at least for the beginning. He said I should give you the just check of 10 million and very soon you'll be getting a car and apartment. Ten, ten million naira, baby. This, this is huge. Oh my love. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Ah, baby. I promise to make you happy, take care of you, and love you for the rest of my life. You know there is no life in me without you. Thank you, my love. You my love. Baby, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> no, this is nothing. I know my father. He will still give you more. This is just for a start. So that he want to test you to know the kind of person you are. Baby, you have totally changed my life. This God. is like a dream come true. And God has done it. <laughs> it's for us. Yes. Well, I'm so happy. I love you. I'm so hot. I'm so hot, hot. I'm so hot. I'm so hot, hot. I'm so hot. <sighs> All you do is lazy about in my brother's house with an unwanted pregnancy. Come to think of it, I hope you're not trying to pin that pregnancy on my brother because that would be over my dead body. I will not be alive and watch that happen. Always looking for cheap attention. If you want to cry, you have a room. Go inside your room, lock yourself and cry yourself to death. Nobody will notice. No sense. Hey Rosie, what's up? How's your day, man? You're welcome. Why are you crying? It's only today. So who? Frank. Frank? Rosie, you told me Frank was dead. It's okay, babe. Do you know what's going on? Your emotions are playing tricks on you. So you're seeing stuff that's not there. No, I wasn't hallucinating when I saw him. I saw him and Okay. Next time you think you see him, just assess the entire situation. Okay, but be careful. But I'm telling you, he's it's probably not him, it's just someone that looks like him because no no newspaper is going to carry, you know, that news without confirmation that he's dead. You know? The resemblance was just too much, just that I couldn't catch up with him. Exactly, it's a resemblance. It's not him. <laughs> Babe, stop crying, please, please. You know it breaks my heart when you cry, please. It's okay. Yeah. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'm okay, no. Honey, why, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? You have been like this all night. Why are you hurting yourself over a child that disobeyed her father because of a dead man? Why are you doing it? I've been trying to reach her on phone, but all to no avail. Besides, it baffles me how comfortable you are without her only child. You see, so sometimes I, I wonder if you ever loved How dare you? How dare you question my love for my daughter? I have to. Of course I love her. Uh, and that is why I gave her the best of everything. But she betrayed me the moment she refused to abort that unwanted pregnancy. She chose the pregnancy over her own father. And I also would not want to jeopardize my political career. That took me years and hard work to build. I would do that over anything. Is that enough reason to abandon our own child? I said I will not do it. And I said, is that enough reason for you to abandon your own child? What nonsense. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
good day, sir. Oh, Fred, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. Good. I'm, I came to tell you that the, the lady is here. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I, I hope she's my spec. You know, I don't settle for <laughs> one match, but I one. Trust me, sir. Uh, she's your spec, and uh, I believe you love her. It's okay. Let her. Sure, I maintain this beauty as long as you take care of me in bed. <laughs> Turn around, let me see what you got. Oh, oh, hello, you. <laughs> That's good. Mm. What's her name again? Mimi. Very special gift. Wow. As soon as we're done here, get to the car, I'll give it to you. Okay. Thank you. So, bro, what about the girl you told me about? Rosie. Oh, yeah. Um, man, she's going through a lot, honestly. You know, her parents disowned her. You know, and uh, she's homeless, you know, in the town for me. You know. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sharpshooter, I know you have a plan. Ah, <laughs> you You're helping her, you mean? Uh, uh, if I want a girlfriend, I can get a girlfriend now. I don't need to go and get a pregnant woman, you know. Ah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant, you know, for a late boyfriend. They are going to get married, but a fatal accident happened and the guy passed away. Oh, my God. It's not easy. That's what I'm trying to tell my sister that it's not easy for this girl, but my sister keeps on insulting her, keeps on making the house uncomfortable for her. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't understand. Like, I'm trying to tell Mimi to calm down. You know? Uh, no, no problem. I will try and talk to Mimi to at least reconsider. Right. I'll talk to her. I really appreciate that because, like, the girl is really a good girl. Different you know? for her condition, honestly. I'd have, like, considered her. <laughs> Sharpshooter, I said it. You I'm, got a plan. I'm not as bad as you. You know, but you know they even hide your own self. Uh, it's well, uh, ha. you are considering her. Ha. It's all right. I know that some poor church rats cannot afford this expensive wristwatch from London. Thank your stars I'm in a good mood today. I wouldn't want it ruined by your ugly presence. seriously running low on cash. I need another rich chick to start from, else I'll go completely broke. How? God. My guy, you don't like my shit. You're one of the richest guy in town. Rosie and the father paid you well. So why are you talking about being broke? Yeah, what's your problem? Huh? What are you actually? My account manager or what? Why well, respect yourself, oh? I said I'm completely broke and you're here talking rubbish. Look. If I don't find another rich woman to start from, I am going to be completely doomed. And I can't take it. 
I have to do something about it. How am I going to live with that? Oh my God, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. I want to join your line of business. How far can you take me to? No, don't join me. Be there and be wasting time with those broke girls. Oh, I know, I accept. Okay, now I'm ready. So, how are you going to Introduce me. I want to be like you. You're ready? Yes, now. You. You need sugar mommy. You sure you can handle and play along? I can. <laughs> oh, no be problem now. I go arrange you one. But first, I need to tutor you on how to follow them. If not, the money will go drop. Fine, no starts now. Let me be here, no starts. And also you have to be very, 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 very strong. You know? And you don't see my girl in the world. And I made this meal. It's a lie. I made the meal. Look at how beautiful it looks. And you see how I but you, hey, that's not, it's how not, I you, dished this, put the, the sauce You in. are not the one. Hey, hey sis, what's up? Hi, good day. You're overrating this girl. Oh my. How could you stoop this low? I am highly disappointed at you. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm so sorry. About I don't want to her. Apologize. You know how she is. Don't let her spoil your mood. She already spoiled it. No, no, we're talking about how I made this delicious meal. Check out how, can you just inhale, babe? Just inhale, bro. See how good that smells. I made that. I added some things to some things, and then I I I, I tasted it. And I was like, it needs, it needs you need more didn't stuff. make the food. I made it with stuff. I and can things. sweat to it. Like, what do you mean by things? I Rice, beans, meats. Sauce. Okay, what are the ingredients? Sauce. What sauce? Like the sauce now. <laughs> <It's> the ingredients. <laughs> Get away! You're lying. No, I'm telling you. No, okay. you didn't make it. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I made it. I made it. Okay, okay I'll have a taste then. All right. And the meat was sauteed. My good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, he gave one lady with that side. He said they look for you. He said, Yes, miracle. Oh, miracle. <laughs> yeah, she's my lawyer, please. Uh, let her in. Yeah. Yeah. I should bring her. I'll bring her in. Right. <laughs> <sighs> Miracle is that my lawyer that I've been telling you about. Okay, the one you have Yes, yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> Who do we have here? <laughs> Good day, Chief. Good day, Ma. You're welcome, Ma. Miracle. Please sit down. Wow, well, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, honey, mm -hmm. I meet a miracle. She's my lawyer. Yeah. Miracle, my wife, Linda. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, ma'am. So, what do we offer you? Nothing, I'm good. Uh, ah. Yes. It's okay. If you insist, uh, Chief, I will be upstairs. I'm She has gone upstairs. <laughs> Come and sit here. Come and sit here. She has gone upstairs. She has gone. Come and sit. Come. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were coming. What is she has gone upstairs? You have to believe me, Jenny. Okay, I don't have anything that I'm doing with Rosie. We're not doing anything. Okay, she just needs help. She's stranded, and I'm trying to help her. You know? So you became a messiah and brought her into your home. Don't, Alex. don't sound like that. Come on. Like, I don't even know why you're listening to Mimi's gossip. Mimi, why does she even hate Rosie? What's her thing with Rosie? I don't understand. Mimi doesn't hate Rosie. 
Oh, yeah. She only knows what's best for you. And she's trying so hard to make you get it. Jenny, I'm not doing anything with Rosie. Okay, we're not doing anything. I don't intend to do anything with her. Right? But just put yourself in her shoes. She needs help. She's stranded. I'm sure you could help if you wanted to. You know? Well, it's fine. Just make sure you don't stop so long with her. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about, okay? Thank you. I uh, have to head back to my office. You look nice, actually, today. Always, but yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama, come! Mama, your son is back! <laughs> Mama, good to see you. How? You're looking good. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you so much. Mama, you're so healthy. You're so yeah, fine, Mama. Good, my son. I am. I am. Mama, the Lord has done it for us. We are rich. We are made, Mama. Are you sure? Come Mama, Mama, see. And I have a house in the city. I have a car. I have money. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Baba. I am going to transform this house. Change everything. <laughs> so happy to see you. <laughs> Mama, Mama. I have so many things to tell you. Okay, God has done it to. Yes, Mama, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look at you. You're all dolled up today. You look beautiful. Thank you. All thanks to you. Ah, no. All thanks to God and your parents, okay, for creating this masterpiece. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, well, Madam Cena. Yes, sir. This is Rosie, okay? She's very dear to me. She means a lot to me, okay? Okay, I actually hired you to help me help her, right? Because she's overworked. And she's pregnant. Really? Yeah, she's she's pregnant actually. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. It's all right. I will take very good care of her, sir. I trust that you will, okay? And Rosie, I don't want you doing any other thing in this house, but to relax and look this beautiful. Okay? Thank you. No more house chores for you. I mean you're pregnant, you can't be doing that. Oh, thank okay. you so much. I don't even know how to appreciate you for everything. Oh, God will keep blessing you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. All right. So let me show you to your room. You're welcome, ma. Thank you, my daughter. Oh. All right, this way. Why you? Why you? Why you? Hey, mama. If anyone comes here to look for me, tell the person I'm dead. Eh? Especially Rosie, the girl I came back with the last time. Banana. God forbid. Chukwa Mamkwe. My son. You can never be dead. Mama, 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 this is just a game that gives me money. Of course I'm not dead. But mama, you have to pretend that I'm dead. Because right now I have a new client and she's loaded with money. Don't worry, I'll bring her back the next time I'm coming. Hey! But no, no. Frank, Idariada, you fell this way. How can I fake my son's death? All in the name of your collecting money from your clients. But I don't know. I can never be a party mama, to that. No, 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 no. Mama, 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 don't do this now. Don't do this to me. Why are you worried like this? Look at me. I am strong. I am healthy. I am not dead. Mama, this is just my office. This is how I make my money. How do you think I was able to buy the house in the city and even the car I'm driving? Mama, it's from these games. You just have to support me and pretend that I'm dead. My son, Mama, I've heard you. But you have to be careful. Please. I will. My son is not dead, though. Mama, no, you have to be careful. I am careful, Mama. Nothing will happen to me. Don't worry, Mama. You see, eh? you see this new client I'm telling you about? Huh? She's loaded with dollars. Dollars, Mama. Don't worry. We are going to be so rich. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Just support me and play Mama, along. Who am I to say no? That's my mama. <laughs> That's my mother. Babes, I am very sure that that girl used charm on my brother. Do you know my brother went to the extent of hiring 
a house cell for that witch. Eh? <laughs> but we should not worry. I will make that house very uncomfortable for her. Now you are talking. But this is really surprising. Like, what baffles me the most is your brother just picked her up from the streets. Fell in love with her, just like that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Ma, the Baba will do that juju for her. He's strong. I go let her know, say, Demon, Senior Demon. That's my girl. I have an idea. Shoot. My brother Alex is very cute. He is every woman's dream. He is every woman's peck. I want you to come to the house and and visit him. I want to see if he will like you. B, this is a tough one. Do you think he will like me? Don't worry. I'll talk to him before inviting you over. I want to make sure his attention is diverted from that witch. I want to do everything possible to, to make sure he forgets about her. Alex, you know you're the only brother I have, and I want the best for you. There's something I would like to discuss with you. You'll like it. All right, go ahead. There's this friend of mine. Her name is Gold. She's very sexy and very beautiful. I want to invite her over. I'm sure you like her. <sighs> okay, invite her over. Okay, that's not a problem. And this is to prove to you that I'm not doing anything with Rosie. Okay, so invite the girl over. Okay, right away. Alex, I really like you. Like, every woman would love to have you. You are every woman's dream. Allow me to love you. You won't regret it, I promise. <laughs> well, I appreciate your kind words, you know. It's, I appreciate your compliment. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go on, shoot. What kind of man do you want? <clears throat> well, I like a man that smokes, mm. a man that drinks, a man that takes me to the club. I mean, a man that changed my wardrobe, that takes me around the world, buying me things. I just like my man, a man that is crazy, a man that can knock me out on bed. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow. Wow. That means we're not too compatible, you know? Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't do most of what you just said. You know? Uh, yeah. About the bed thing, I mean, I'm pretty good there, but I'm not going to knock anybody out. But. Uh, the rest of the stuff you said, I, I don't, that's not me. So I don't think we're compatible. Alex, come on, we can work it out, okay? Oh, the mail we have is uh... Good afternoon. Hey, Rosie, you're back? Yes, I'm back. Okay, welcome. All right, I'll be in my room. All right. All right. Um, I'll be back in a second, okay? Uh, Alex. I'll be back in a second. Hey. Hi. How was the scan? 
It was it was good. The the baby is ten weeks and also in a good position. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Is there anything you want to get for you? I don't know if you need anything. No, nothing. Okay. I've been in the living room then. Alright, take care. Oh. <laughs> oh baby. Yes. I can't wait to take you in bed and spoil you silly. Oh really? I can't wait. Oh, I can't just wait. Oh baby. Yes, then. You know you're the woman I will take to the altar and put a ring on her finger, right? Whoa! This is the sweetest word I've ever heard. Yes. <gasps> Baby! Oh my god! Oh! oh thank you! Of course, you're my girl. Thank you. Yeah. But, but, but first, I'll have to take you to the village and introduce you to my mother. Oh, again? <sighs> now I know you're serious. Of course I'm serious. <laughs> I love you, what? <laughs> but, um, sweetheart. Yes, dear. Um, you know you're yet to give me my last month of give money, and it's beginning to affect my oh, soul. Oh, don't just talk too much. I will even double it so that you can be able to shop for mother, okay? Really? Yes. That's my baby. Come here. Come to Baba. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You see, I'm so proud of you, too. Come on, let's go inside. Oh, Let's go okay. Get your no! I told you. I told you that your brother wouldn't like me. He was asking me so many questions like, what kind of man do you like? And I told him I like my men. I like men that smokes, drink. Men that take me out, men that spend money on me. But he said he's opposite of everything and that he does not do all those things. And you know the worst part of it? Your brother left me in the living room and went after that pregnant winch. Ah! Oh God, why now? Hey, you don't get common sense. How can you go and tell a man that you, you like men that smoke, that drink, that do all that? My brother is not that kind of person. I'm sorry about how he treated you, but you messed up. I was just being real. You have to go back again. Yes, you have to try harder. You are doing this for me. This time around, you, you, you go back and tell him that you were just testing him. Yes, that you actually don't like men that smoke, that in fact that he is your kind of man, that he is your spec. That's the only way you can get his attention. My brother does not like Ras girls. You really have to go back and try harder. I forgot to tell you to even go as a churchy girl. Just this time ah. around, be very humble, be very calm. I'm very sure if you do all this, you will win his heart. If I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't. I, I. don't need all this. I need a man that will take care of me. A man like Chief. My I'm not it for all this. Listen. My brother Alex has plenty of money. He will take care of you more than Chief. Just try to win his heart. That's all. Please. <sighs> okay. Are you going to do it for me? I will try now. That's, that's, that's just how they are. You see? See, no, right. you see the leaves. Wow. Frank! That's Frank! Frank! Frank. Frank. 
So you're alive. Madam, are you okay? Who? Of course, I'm fine. Sorry. My name is not Frank. I'm sure you have me clearly mistaken for someone. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that rubbish. You are Frank. Your friend came to me with a poster of you that you had an accident and died in a car crash, but you're still alive. I mean, why would you do this to me after everything I did for you, Frank? This Man, is not fair. Madam, I don't know you. My name is Steve. I'm not Frank. Don't joke with me. This is you. Look at you. It's clearly it's a mistake. It's not me. How can you do person. this? How can you possibly tell Man, me you're I, I hate embarrassment. Dave, please, we have Who to leave here right now. Who is embarrassing you? Let, 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 let's live here, please. What are you talking about? Oh, please, young lady, I don't know you. Knowing that you're gone into believable when we know this end. I can't believe what my eyes saw today. Frank is not dead. Frank is still alive. And then he lied to me. Even when I saw him, he claimed that he didn't know who I am. After everything I did for him, after everything, he denied knowing who I am. It's okay, Rosie, just calm down. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I know. I know it's not easy, but you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting the baby. Frank is not your, the end of your life, you know. He's not the whole of your world. <sighs> you need to move on. Now you have Alex in your life. He can be your family. I can be the mother you no longer have. We can be your family. You don't need Frank anymore. Just, just calm down and take it easy. <laughs> don't know. I just said I'm just soul. too hurt. I didn't, I didn't believe he would ever do this to me. We loved each other. We cared for each other. I did a lot for this guy. I did a lot. I understand, but it's okay. Just take it easy and calm down. Stop doing this to yourself. He's not what it. If he could deny you, then he is not what it, my dear. He's not. He's not my daughter. Oh, it's okay, my dear. Just take it easy. You're welcome, sir. Hey. Rosie, what's up? I'm not fine. You're crying again. What happened? I'm being sad. Huh? Why are you crying? What happened to Sam? Frank lied to me. I I saw him. I saw him and then and then he denied knowing who I am. Are you sure it wasn't someone that looked like him? Like that really? No, no, no. It was him. I saw. I know the man I had something to do with. I saw him and then I went to him. I was trying to explain myself. He said he doesn't even know me. He even, he even said his name is not Frank. Like his name is now Steve. How can he do that? Did you trace him? I had to because I wasn't, I wasn't okay. I had to trace him. He, he, he lives at GRA. I'll get to the bottom of this, okay? I promise you that. I'll get to the bottom of this, okay? But I think it's someone that looks like... No, he's Frank. I'll get to the bottom of this. I don't know why he would do this hey, to no, me. No, okay. I did a lot for him, it's you know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll be able to dress your house with this card with the rest of them. They get out as the car was crossed by a car. Eh? Yes. A car? Yes. Where is she now? The police took car body to the city cemetery. <sighs> Yes, Sonny. Please, I'm sorry. Honey, I finished myself. I've just pushed our daughter to her early death. She had an accident. Somebody just brought her belongings and said she died on the spot. Honey, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please, start coming home. Yes. Hello? Hello, honey?
Hey, okay. Let's call him back. Let's call him back. Hello, honey. Please give the phone to my wife. Collapsed? Hey, so where are, you, where are you people now? Where exactly are you? Hello? Get uh, back! I'm so sorry about that. What was that? Guess what? What? Chief just lost his wife. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> that means you are the latest madam. You can say that again. Oh my god. <laughs> Baby girl, you are taking over. It's time for you to possess your possession. We are bad. <laughs> oh my God. Money look good on you, baby. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you again? How the hell did you get here? Frank, why would you talk to me like Who that? Who is Frank? Excuse me. You. Are you? Baby. Excuse me. Sweetheart. What's happening here? No, Frank here is my fiance. He's my man. And I'm pregnant for him. Excuse me, madam. First of all, his name is Steve and not Frank. Thank you. You can't just come around and start vomiting rubbish in someone's house. I am not vomiting rubbish, madam. I'm telling you the truth. He is my man. You, you think I'm lying? Okay, hold on. See, I, I believe this will convince you. Is this not him? He's my man. She printed that picture from the social media to blackmail me. This is how they go about scamming people. This is their new scheme. Oh, I see. So you went to social media to print my man's picture. <laughs> no, no, this is a failed game. So this is your new scheme. This oh. is how you go about defrauding people. No, this is oh. you, Frank. This is you. I you is Frank. I am Frank. Hey, Hold on. Hey, calm down. Hold on. I see. This is a game over. All right? As a matter of fact, I will stand here to see this trash happen. Yes, baby. Let's go. Let's, Let's go in I have never met you before. Frank, Frank, Who is Frank? Frank. Don't ever come here again. Don't do this to me. Don't be me like this. So no, 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 no. I know, I understand you loved your fiance and everything. It's beautiful how much you loved him, you know? But this is not him. He's dead. I don't want to believe. I just feel I'm dreaming like I'm you're dreaming. Not, you're not dreaming. That is Frank. Is this not his picture right here? Let's go. Come here. Honestly speaking, I... I regret everything. My wife died as a result of my action towards my daughter. I sent her out of the house. And now I lost the two of them. My wife and my daughter. What, what have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? God knows best. And you will repay me for lost. You really need to forgive yourself. I cannot forgive myself. I cannot forgive myself. But you have to. And stop blaming yourself over everything. Everything will be fine. I am the wife and family you have now. I'll make sure you're happy always. Okay? It's okay. Um, it's all right. Thank you very much for always being there since this incident. Thank you. You're welcome. You'll be fine. Rosie, you need to move on. Okay, I mean, if the guy is dead, he's seeing you from the spirit world. Don't cry now. If he's dead, you can see that you're going through a loss because of him, that you're concerned. And if he's still alive and he's the one we saw, then he doesn't deserve you anyway. So you should still move on. But I don't think that was him though. You know, but like I said, please, please stop crying. You're a beautiful lady. Look at you. You look ridiculously beautiful. And not just 
physically, but emotionally and intellectually too, you're attractive. Any man would want to make you his wife. And I know that for a fact. Okay? I'm going to do everything in my power to make you happy again. That's a promise to you. I promise you. But how could you do this to me? It's Frank I saw. I know the man I dated for crying out loud. What about his picture? His voice? His stature? I know him full well. How could he just stand in my face and lie to me? This is very heartbreaking. I totally understand. I know what I, I went through with him, what I passed through, how I how I took care of him. And now he's doing this to me. Oh, oh am, I, am I losing it? No, you're not losing it. Is okay. this a dream? I just I don't I don't think I don't think it's the one, okay? No, he is the one. The more you say this, the more it gets to me. I'm sorry. I know Frank. How can he be so callous? You know what? I'm going to go to my room. Okay? If you need me, if you need my attention, if you need anything from me, just hit me up and I'll be there. I promise. Okay, don't drive yourself crazy. I don't think it's the one. Okay, that's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Okay? Just take care of yourself. I'm in my room, okay? Don't beat yourself up too bad. Rosie, stop now. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop doing this to yourself. Eh? God has something bigger planned for you, but even though he's standing in front of your nose, you can't see it. Alex is in love with you. What are you saying, man? Man, how can you possibly say anything like that? I mean, how can Alex fall in love with me? Someone like me? In my condition? Why not? Listen, my dear. All you need to do is to stay strong and hold on. I know he loves you. The only thing is that he may not know how to approach you. Wait a minute, ma. Are you trying to tell me that someone in my condition can be loved again? But of course. Yes. Listen, my dear. I've been with you guys for some time now. I see the way he looks at you. He looks at you with... His whole heart in his eyes, everything, all the feelings, all the affection, it's in his eyes when he looks at you all the time. I was in your condition before. I had my first child in my parents' house. But I still met my husband. We got married. He loved me and I loved him before he died. Did your parents ever disown you? No, my case did not get to that point. But they were supportive somehow. Yours is different. It's not. I was this one. You have us now. You have me. You have Alex. And we will always be there for you. We will always, always support you. No matter what. It's okay, my dear. Please stop. I'm trying. Please, it's not that please easy. my dear. Please. I'm it's trying. okay, my dear. Huh? Please. Please. It's okay. Sorry. So sorry. Hey, Mama! Ha! Mama! Come here. I've missed you. How are you? Good day, Mama. Yes, baby. You're welcome. Thank you. Good day. My baby, Mama. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, well, eh? <laughs> Thank um. you, Mama. Let's go in. Yes. Hi. Baby, let's go. In. All right. Hey, my son. Mama. I want us to discuss something. 
See, eh? You see that lady you came back home with? I don't really like that woman. My son, how can you be thinking of getting married to an older woman just like her age? God forbid, it will not happen. Mama, not when I'm alive. Mama, stop. Stop this now. How many times do I have to explain to you that this is business? Mm. It is from this that I made money that I use in buying my cars and house. Uh. I have told you before. Look, Mama. I am not going to marry her. Mm. Yes. I am just doing all this thing to convince her that I love her. So that she'll be able to give me more money. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, Honda. Nah. Hey, nah. mm -hmm. Stay in that your line of business. What happened to the other young lady you came back home with? I like that one. Oh. I love her. That one is young and beautiful. What do you think about her? Mama, forget about him. I am done with her. You are done, what? Yes. And like I said, if she comes here asking about me, tell her I died in a motor accident. God forbid. My son cannot die in a motor accident. Obviously, Mama. Mm -hmm. Just pretend and tell her that I died in a motor accident. This is game, Mama. I've told you before. This is just game. Okay? You have to do it for me. I'm joking. I'll pay you. Mama, let me um, go inside. I'm sure Monica will be waiting for me. Mm. Hey. change. Your sister now rolls with the high and mighty in the society. I picked the car from my fiance's garage. You like it? Isn't it beautiful? Your fiance? <laughs> come, come, come. Let's go celebrate. Come with me. Your sister levels don't change. Hey! Good day! This car looks like the car my father bought for me on my graduation day. Oh my god. Hmm. This is a coincidence. But this is too close of a coincidence. And it even has the same plate number. Hmm. Well, could it be that my father sold the car? I know Mimi doesn't know any of my family members. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't be complaining because I've lost everything. I leave everything to God. Yes, Mama. Please. You are going to manage this smart inside this bag. You hear? Right, I promise when next time you come here, hey, I will do more. <laughs> Just manage me. <laughs> this little thing is to show you that we're coming to my family. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank Ma you, Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Thank you. I am going to miss you. I will miss you more. Baby, let me hold that for you. Okay. Ah, Mama, right. all this. Oh. <laughs> let her manage it. Mama, huh? this is for you. Eh? Hmm. All this for me? Yes, Mama. Oh, you come. Mm. Eh? Oh. No more. Yes, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. And as you can see, your daughter-in-law is perfect. Over. <laughs> so subsequent visits will bring you more things. Okay? I beg. Well, Nemo. Mm. So we have to be running along because we have a long way to go. Uh, mm. well. But do take good care of yourself. I will. If there's anything, plenty money. call me. No problem. You want to go? Give us the bag. You want to go? My sweet hat. I don't want that to carry anything. Yes, go. Go. Bye. Bye. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Very carefully. Okay, right, mama. mama. Your mother is very nice and I like her. Hmm. That is my mother for you. You know, she's very fun to be with. And I can tell she really likes you. <laughs> she said so much about you. Oh my god. Honey? Yes. It's now I know you love me. You have proven your love to me by introducing me to your mother. Mm. And I will do everything humanly possible to do everything I promise you in this life. Really? Yes. And you speak my language, baby. Mm. I love you. I love you. Uh, baby, and don't forget the $3,000 you promised me. You're going to add it up. Yes, I will. I will even do more. That's my baby. Come here. <laughs> mm. Mm. Third trimester. Oh, I see. And where is Alex? He just went out to see a visitor off. A visitor? Male or female? A female visitor. I guess she is his colleague in the office. Mm. Alright. I know Alex can wait for me to go to bed. I can reward him for everything he has done for me. And for everything he has done for you, he has done it because he loves you. He specifically instructed me to prepare something sweet and spicy for you before he went out. Are you serious? He's so sweet. Yes, he is. I can't even thank him enough. I don't even know how to do that for everything. But God will reward him. Amen. Let me go continue with what I'm doing in the kitchen. Mm. Yeah, let me help you now. After this, oh. You want to come and help me? You're tired. Sit down, relax. Your lunch is done. I know you can, but hey, these two hands are still active. Sit there. Your lunch will soon be ready. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright then. I don't like how you always hurry me each time I come around. I told you there's someone that lives with me. Okay? She's a lady and I don't want us to get the wrong impression, you know? I don't understand, Alex. I thought you said you guys are not together. We're not together. We're not dating or anything, you know? It's just that I told her I was single, and I like that impression to remain the same, you know? You see? What about me, Alex? Don't you feel a thing for me? Beep, this is your opportunity to know Chief well and get to know more about his financial status. Babe, shine your eye. You. Baby, you don't know me again. I just a pet chief, make you forget your wife and daughter. I go show her with plenty of love. Baby ah. girl, the lay is dangerous. You know he hasn't married you legally. Anything can happen. So, it's left for you to get pregnant for him to tie him down. Now that he does not have a child. Stop stressing yourself. Hmm. Chief that I know loves me so much and is willing to do anything for me. And as for the pregnancy, I am on it. What if he get another girl? No fits. Babe, all these big men, they are too secretive. I know why I'm saying this. Chief cannot play that kind of game with me. I go kill the girl. The girl go buy. <laughs> I don't talk as Demi for mouth to shine your eye. Shine your eye. At least he goes with me say I be friend to. Man, guys. Do you know? 
I tried to convince Rosie on the phone the other day, but she's still putting more pressure to find out that if you're still alive. But you know what? Never end there. Trust me, I'm still looking for more evidence to prove to her that you're dead. One time. Thanks, man. Thanks. I really appreciate. I mean, what are friends for? Yeah. You know, <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with Rosie. She has confronted me severally. And I pretended as if I never knew her from anywhere. Just to convince her. But she's still insisting and pressurizing. Man, I don't tire her. But tell you what. There is no pity in this game. And the end thing remains money. You can't say Your that focus again. should always be on the money. Badest G. Badest G. That's what you want to know. We are going to make more money. Sure. It's all about format. Yes, sure. You use the right format, mm -hmm. you go enter. That's how it be now. Nah. Mugu must follow. Um, Brian, this is for you. This is for you. And Dave, this is for you. Magic. That's a hundred thousand naira each. Who knows that? Bad guy. Bad guy. Take out. Bad guy. This guy don't blow my head. More they come. Bro. If you guys be like this, you will be collect three thousand. Especially when drive you. Like, you will get a You go back your head. The move. Oh my God. Alex didn't come to work today. And I've been calling his line, he's not taking my call. Jenny, you've been calling this guy and he has not been picking. Don't you think that you're forcing yourself on him? Come on, girl. The other day you told me how he hurried you out of his house when you went to visit him. Babes, if that guy truly loves you, he should be the one calling you and not the other way around. You need to get a grip of yourself, girl. Bella, you're right. I think I'm being too crazy about this guy. It doesn't make any sense. Going after a man that doesn't even give a fuck about me. But then again, Bella, this guy has everything I need in a man. Alexis. Alex is so intelligent and he's so cute as well. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Wow, I know. I understand how you feel, okay? I do. But please, you have to slow down. You should be the one to reciprocate your love back. Please. Numbers that my name is Steven, not Frank. What is your problem? Huh? Look, stop embarrassing me like this. Frank, even in my condition, you're doing this. My God will judge you. Frank, my God will judge you for this. No problem. Oh, please take this elsewhere. I don't know who you're trying to blackmail. Eta? Come here! Ah, Oga? You see that woman? Yeah, the one walking. If I ever see her anywhere close to this place again, you will be sacked. Huh? Is that clear? Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Now open that. Door. 
Freedom is a dream I wanna go Everything you promised to me were all lies Thought that I lost you but I lost myself I gave you everything and you took everything away from me Everything you Thought that I lost you but I lost myself I gave you everything and you took everything away Losing my mind, don't think I can do this no more It's time to let you go uh, hello, sir. Oh, yes, I'm back from the market. Yes, I bought everything I need. I bought the items for the salad, the cabbage, lettuce, cucumber, green beans, green onions. Um, green. Yes, I bought the green pepper. <laughs> Definitely, I will buy that one. Yes, I bought some chicken too and fish. The drinks and the cake are in the fridge already. Oh, uh, Rosie said she was going to the mall to pick up something. I'm not sure what, but that was what she told me. All right then, sir. I'll see you when you come back. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Or something. Was supposed to be on piano. Yeah. Yes. Was piano, I mean? Yes. 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 Nah, I can't. It's her birthday. Just one day, it should be nice to her. It's her birthday. I don't care. Excuse me. So you know, Beto? Yes, I do. You know, like, any of the new guys. You know, like... My daughter, today is the memorial of your birthday. I am sorry for everything I did to you. I still blame myself for your death. I allowed my political career to overshadow my sense of reasoning when I sent you out of the house. I cannot forgive myself. Today adds plus one to your years. Wherever you are, please forgive me. I still love you. Please accept my sympathy. If I can turn the hand of time, I will right every wrong that I, I did. I allowed ego and affluence to rob me of the most precious gift that nature can ever give. Today, I have wealth and everything that money can buy, but I'm still not complete because of the vacuum you created. Oh God of second chance. If there will ever be cheating marrows lean bensin in my life, I will wash your feet. Your need shall be my want. Your worries shall be my priority. Dima, you are, you are the daughter of a great lion. Please rest on wherever you are. Rest on my daughter. Thank you. 
it is, it is, it is, it is. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe this, honestly. God bless you. Thank you so much for celebrating me. I wasn't expecting all of this. <laughs> but you said that blue was a favorite color, can't. so the cake is blue too. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, to Tina. Oh, goodness. I don't even know how to continue. Exactly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. Happy birthday Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rosie. Happy birthday to you. How old are no. you? Yes. Yes, so I'm going to cut my cake. Yes. You have to. Okay. Nobody go to office. It's Jesus. Yes. Yeah, of course, it's Jesus. Can you lean all the way down or do you need me to lift it for you? I'll try. Okay. I'll cut my cake. Yes. Yes. So, J. Okay. E. Yeah. S. S U. S. From what happened yesterday, I can see that Rosie truly loves me. I was really pained with her words about her birthday. But I don't have a choice. A street I day, I have to play along. Oh man, that girl loves me. Oh baby, you're here. Yes, mommy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I need a massage and a hot ride. Mm, I bet you do, huh? Don't mm -hmm. worry, I'll uh. give it to you. Yeah. Um. Like that? Yeah. Like it? Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh. 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 Tell you what, baby. What? Let's take you to the run, huh? Oh, that's right. I will give it to you hot, hot. You know how it is. Let's go. Cool. I can't wait. Hey, Mama. Good afternoon, my dear. You're welcome. I'm here to see Alex. Oh, I'm so sorry, but he's not around at the moment. I see. <sighs> Mama, there is something I need you to do for me. Okay. What is it? Uh, before then, hold on. I want you to have this. You can keep the money for the moment. What exactly do you want me to do for you? <clears throat> Mama, I really need you to talk to Alex. I mean, I want you to make him see reasons with me. I really love Alex. And... That was the reason for the money, I guess. But you see there, money is not everything. I'm a woman and a mother. So I understand how it feels when a woman is in love. 
But you see this thing called love, it is something that should be allowed to come naturally. You don't force it. If you allow it to come naturally, then it can get reciprocated. Mama, I know. I know, but I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't really say what is really wrong with me. I've had several breakups, and that's why I don't want Alex to pass me by. Just look at me. I came from a rich home. I have a very glorifying job. But when it comes to relationship, um, I don't just get it right. It's okay, my dear. It's okay, okay? Just calm down. Just take it easy on yourself. Like you rightly said, look at you. You're a beautiful woman. And you have a good job to crown it. All you need is a little patience and God's time. I know you know about God's time. And when his time comes, he will definitely give you a man who would love and cherish you for yourself. Okay? Okay, Mama. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I should be on my way now. It's okay. You take care of yourself now, okay? You too. Bye. Take care. Um, <clears throat> Ken. Yes, Chief. I must confess that uh, I love your push since you became the manager of the company. Let's um, keep it up. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Yes. Um, <clears throat> what about the uh, contract with the Chinese company? Have they shipped the goods? Uh, mm, not, not really. But in two weeks' time, uh, I will, uh, I'm working on it. Please do. You know how much uh, important that contract is to me. And you know we have spent a lot of money already. Okay? No problem, Chief. I, 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 I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. No problem, Chief. It's all right. Let's not relax on it. Okay? It's all right. They like some madam. One madam. Cletus. And that is the reason you called me back. Eh? As what now? Tatafo? You would not concentrate on your job and your duty post. Eh? Jobless man. No, no, no. You will pack out of this place and come and live inside the house with us so that you will see all the juicy gossip to pass around. Nyara. Mama, the mama, no be say I won't know. I won't find out. No be say you won't know. You won't find out. So when you find out, what would you know? If you find out, you don't know. Or you... But the job less. See, watch your duty post. Ken, I would like you to do me a favor. I want it to be a secret between us. Okay, and what could that be? I want to see Chief's will. I'll give you one million. Ma, this is not possible. I'm sorry. But Chief is a good person and I don't think I can betray him. Chief has been nice to me and he trusts me so much. That's why he gave me those goods to keep for him. Okay. I'll double it to two million. <laughs> uh, Ma, see, there's no amount of money you offer me now that will make me betray Chief. Honestly, Ma, see, you need to slow down. Chief has a better plan for you. I can see you stubborn. Listen, Ken. Ken! Can you imagine? Madam Tina! Madam! Yes, sir. Please come.
Were you busy? No, no, I wasn't. Okay. I need you to help me with something. Um, please give this to Rosie, yeah? I'll right. buy anything she needs. Margie, okay. running late for work. All right, then, no problem. All right. All right. See you when I get back. No problem, not one of you. All right, thank you. Alexa, I love you. But it hurts that you don't reciprocate this love back to me. It feels like you don't even see me. You don't even give me attention. All because of that pregnant lady in your house. Hey, hey, hey. Let's leave Rosie out of this, okay? She's just a lady I'm helping because of her condition, you know? Alex, I really do love you. Look, I came from a wealthy home. Because I'm the only child of my father. I can give you anything you want. Just say it. As long as you just love me back. You're a beautiful lady. You're really beautiful. Your body is ridiculous. Hey. Any man out there would love to be with you. Just, just give me some time. You know, just give me some time to, to decide and, and, and know what is right to do. You know, that's all I ask. Fine. I've heard you. But don't forget that I love you. With everything in me. I really do. Look, if you want me to talk to my father to make you the head of this chamber, I will do it for you. You know I can, and I will. Babes, do you know I offered Chief's manager a check of one million just to reveal Chief's will to me, but he refused. I even doubled the money. The idiot declined. I went to the extent of seducing him. He no agree. That one not be case now. That one not mind my case. You don't know what to do. So you don't know what to do. Okay. Tell Chief to fire him. It's sap. Chief will not fire him. Chief loves this guy so much. He's always saying good things about him. He said since the guy became the manager of his company that his company has been doing well. So he will never fire him. My dear, you need to shine your eye. Shine your eye before soap will enter your eye. This is a golden opportunity for you to become rich. You and I know that Chief loves you so much and he is ready to do anything for you. All you need to do is just ask. Remember, he is not legally married to you. Anything can happen. So my dear, play your game well. I'll handle this idiot before he spoils things for me. The spirit. Sorry to bother you. But you see, my dear, Alex and I have come a very long way. And I do not want anyone to mess it up for us. So I ask, what exactly is your relationship with Alex? Well, I would say that Alex is like a God sent to me. He's been so loving and caring, nice, ever since I've been staying in this house. He's been a good man, basically. That's all I can say. He's a nice person. But why, why do you ask? Oh, I really do love him. Oh. So I'm pleading with you to please talk to him on my behalf. Look, I will give you anything you want. I can change your life for good. I can even fly you abroad to have your baby if that's what you want. But just talk to him. For me, I love him. Oh, I've heard you. I've, I've heard you. I'll give it a thought. 
I will. Thank you so much. Sweetheart. Yeah. I think you should relieve your manager of his job. I'll get you someone that can do it better. Why do you want me to sack my manager? I mean, Ken has been putting good effort into the company's offer. Honey, I think it's high time I told you the truth. Your manager has been making sexual advancement towards me. The last time at the cemetery, he winked his eyes at me romantically. He's been pestering my life to date him. You mean Ken did all that to you? Yes. In fact, he's fired. He's not just fired, but I will make sure that he does not get any benefit. He is fired. You yeah. know, I I wanted to hide it from you. You know, but I told myself that if I don't let you know, someday with the way he keeps pestering my life, he might just rape me. You dare not try such a thing. In fact, as we speak, He's already in the labor market. He is fired. Okay. <sighs> Guy, when you get that feeling, it, make sure we both see it. Okay. So that way she'll be convinced that I'm truly dead. And also, specify in the affidavit that you're using it to assess my bank account. So that way she'll be totally convinced. You understand? Well, that one doesn't matter now. As far as I'm concerned, I'm concerned. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, man. That girl loves me. Sure, I know. That girl truly loves me. She was here the other day and she was reminding me of how we used to celebrate her birthday. Good memories. Ah. But what can I do now? I don't have a choice. I'm a street guy. So I have to play at them. Bad guy. He's the only man himself. You say he's mad. That's what I mean. Bad guy. Bad guy. Oh, yeah. I don't have to be there. That's what I mean. lady came here and she said she's ready to change my life do anything I want she can even fly me abroad to have my child now all she wants is for me to speak to Alex on her behalf this lady in question how does she look she is fine complexion Average in height. I mean, that's 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 all I know about her. I mean, that's all I can say. This same lady came to me a few days ago, asking me to do the same thing for her. She even offered me money. She claims she is the daughter of the person who owns the company where Alex works, <coughs> and she's the only child, the only daughter, and she's built to inherit everything her father owns which she said she wants to enjoy with Alex, but that is not enough for you to do this to yourself. Ah, I mean, why are all of these things happening now? This period that I'm about to have my child and try my luck. I mean, what becomes of me? I don't even stand a chance at all. I don't even know whether the man that got me pregnant is still alive or dead. Stop doing this. And now this. Lucy, stop. Stop. You're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting your baby too. Listen, God has a plan for you. I believe that. I know that. 
Just be strong. You need to be strong. You, make, you need to make yourself strong. It's not that easy for me. You don't know. It's not easy for me. She stands a better chance. I understand where you're coming from, but take that off your mind. Be strong. Alex works for her father. Let me ask you a question. Are you the one that writes destiny? Are you? <laughs> you decide your for his or even hers. I advised her to look for someone else, so please take your mind off her, okay? Yeah, it's, not, it's not written on her face. She's so desperate to have Alex. Just stop. Be strong. Okay? You need to be strong at this moment. For yourself and for your child. That's the most important thing. We'll take it from there. Let me get your food. You need to eat soon. Okay? I'll be right back. God, what? Why is this happening now? Why? Jerry, you need to see how Jennifer's been trying to build a strong relationship between us. You know, she's, been, she's really been trying, you know? You mean it? Why, why are you wasting the golden opportunity? Why won't you hasten up and marry her, knowing that uh, she's from a rich home? I don't know, man. Something is telling me to wait, you know, just not to rush it. Oh. Know? Is it because of the pregnant lady in your house and you're not even the father? How can a full-grown young man like you be going for a half-used, second-handed woman? Hey, don't you ever say that again. Yeah. What's that about? Is it her fault that the person that was going to marry her died? How would you disrespect her like that? Why? Yeah, see, calm down. I what did she ever do to you? What's that? How can you disrespect her like that? What did she ever do to you? Uh... Rosie, yeah. she has not eaten all through today and she's been crying all through. Uh, did she complain of anything? Did she? So I think you just need to see her, please. She doesn't need this in her condition and it's not good okay, for her. Okay, no, 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 I'm coming to see her right now. All right, sir. I beg no vex. I have to go check out what's going on. I'll be back in a second, yeah? This is serious. Oh my God. I see her. So it has gotten to this level. No, there's no problem. Yes. Just that um, I have full faith in God that that even if I leave this house today, everything will still be fine. Alex, you're a wonderful person. I have never seen a man as amazing as you are. I give it to you. I appreciate you for everything. I'll keep saying it. I I'll... appreciate you too. Thank you. But it would be so bad that I would be the one to restrict you from forging ahead with your future. What is it? Why, why are you sounding like this? I don't understand. Why are you sounding like this? In I don't a, like how you're sounding. In a month or two. Yes. By the special grace of God, I'll put to bed. And of course, I'll bounce back like every other young girl out there. Okay, again, I'm sorry to say, but I don't get why you're sounding like this. What's the problem? Is there a problem? Did I do anything wrong? You if I did anything wrong, please just let me know. You haven't done anything wrong. Because I, I don't understand. Why, why sound like Calm it? down. You understand it. Okay. The other day, a young lady approached me and offered me money to stay completely away from you. But I told her that I have nothing with you, that you you are like a God sent to me, but maybe she didn't want to believe me. But just I... Rosie, please take this from me. Don't worry about anything. I know who that lady is and I'm going to handle the situation. I know what to do. It's under control. Please, 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 please. I know what to do. Please don't let it get to you. I beg it you. It is getting to no, me. No, no, don't I don't have strength. No, I told you, I don't even think about stuff like that with this condition, babe, please. That's what I'm saying. I have enough body already. I understand. Please don't even let these people interfere with the delivery of this baby. Please. I beg of you. I'm sorry for even bringing these people into your life. Inadvertently. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah? Have you been eating? I've lost appetite. No, you've lost appetite, but the baby hasn't lost appetite now. The baby says to eat now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Porque ele é muito, é muito popular. Ele é muito popular. Ok. Yes, Chief. I invited you here to inform you that you have been fired. Yes. I've instructed my secretary to prepare your sack letter. You'll be fired. Um, Chief, um, honestly, I think I know where all these things are coming from. But Chief, there is something where the workers are seeing that you're not seeing. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. And uh, I also know who asked you to sack me. Oh, so you know? Yes, Chief. You know who asked me to sack you? The fact that you know goes a long way to prove my point. Now get out of here. Chief, they see. Ken, get out of here before I call the police on you. I said get out. Pick your phone and get out. What nonsense? I said get out. You have the infantry to tell me. You know who asked me to sack you. Oh. I thought I was dealing with someone. Monica, you know I love you so much. You have been longing for this opportunity. Dave, what if your friend comes here to meet us? What will be my condition? Shh. I don't think so. I don't believe he will even come back in the next two months. We have all the plan. <clears throat> Oh, no, dear. Oh. I'm home. What? Oh! Mommy. Oh, no. What? Dan? 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 How can you betray me? I'm sorry, bro. I You're sorry. Monica, why? Am I not good enough for you? What does he have? What What do you want in a man that I don't have? This why all the hurts and everything. Please, I'm so sorry. Please. You're sorry. Please. Yeah, of course you're sorry. You know what? We are done. I want you out of my house and never to come anywhere close to this place again. No. No, baby, no, no, no. And I mean it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna step out. By the time I come back, I don't want to meet you here for any reason. <laughs> Nonsense. Please, honey. Come back, honey. Oh. Oh. I'm ready to quit this job right now. Because I see you're trying to take advantage of me because I work at your father's chambers. Alexis hasn't caught into that. Relax. Do you love this pregnant woman so much that you would want to quit your job because of her? I never said any of that to you. Okay, there's nothing going on between me and that lady. Okay, but when you're going about it, you're rushing me. I mean, you need to calm down and give me some time to think. I'm sorry. Okay, forgive me. I don't want to do anything to upset you again. By the way, you were supposed to be in court today, but you didn't come. Never mind, I won't book you upside for that. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right, I, uh, it's here back now. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, man. Yeah, we cheers for man, more you jobs. did a good job. For more, more, more jobs. Man, I'm coming. impressed. You did a wonderful job. You're welcome, my brother. Boy, should be you no know, say that it takes time to sleep with my woman. No, be so. I will be no good there. Yeah, forget matter. You should understand that you know the job. Ah, but we not true. 
My brother. He knows you. So now this kind of thing will be passed through. Eh? He knows after I knock that woman and play around. Now this woman come down and they beg me, say, make a knock a man play around. Oh man, you be, you be German machine. I beg, tell me how you take doing. Or you take medicine. Ah, ha, ha. Eh? Never see anything. That was not smart thing, though. See, eh? It's part of the game. When you treat them well in bed, they will fall in love with you and spoil you with money. Bad guy. That's how it goes. Bad guy. <laughs> my G. Ah, but my brother, well, I can no be your boy, no be your man too. That was no easy. But as for Monica, I am done with her. I trust you, my man. I trust that you. I don't have anything to do with her. Happy here, the Ramoto Bana. I am moving on to someone richer, someone better, and someone more. Get my man. drift now. My nigga! My guy! I understand. I trust you. I trust you. I trust how you. Are you doing? How are you doing? See, 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 how are you doing? For a job well done. Go use our flex. My nigga! What's in the app? That's in my place to tell you that you. Cheers one more time. To the good life, bro. The good life always. More job. Yeah. Brian. Rosie, how are you? I'm good. Um, Rosie, I came to inform you that your late fiance with all his birthdays to me. Um, this is his um affidavit. I'm going to the court to see if all he has will comes out. Brian. Can I at least take you to the man that looks exactly like my Frank? Can I? Rosie, we've thought about this. But if you insist, maybe one of these days I will follow you there. Or bear in mind that Frank is dead. I can't even take you to his grave. <sighs> so is that the reason you brought me out? Well, I feel like to inform you, to show you the necessary things, so you can know that he's dead after. I'm sure that he's dead. I have not forgotten him. I haven't. Rosie, I know how you feel. He's my friend also, my best friend. I feel the same way. But trust me, he's dead. Can I have... Can I have a copy of the affidavit? Right, sure. You can have one. It's all right. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, please take it easy yourself, okay? Hey, sweetheart, this is Austin. He's a master degree holder in business administration. I would appreciate if you make him the new manager of your company. I assure you, he will not disappoint you. Mm. Well, you already know I trust anything that comes from you. He's got the job. I'll instruct my secretary to get his files ready. He will reach on Monday. Oh, thank you so much, Chief. I'm very grateful. Oh, come on. Thank you. Uh, no, you don't have to thank me. Thank my beautiful lady here. I can do anything for her. Chief, thank you so much. Oh, come on. You know, I trust your judgment. It's okay. All right, thank you, Chief. It's all right. I better take my leave now. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. All um, right. Monday, eh? All right. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Austin will do better than Ken. You, you know I trust your judgment. Let's see how it goes. Chief, come with me. I want to show you something in the bedroom. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. It's alright. Hey. 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 Friend was here earlier today. I told you stop. Why? Why do you keep on calling him your fiance? How can a dead guy be your fiance? 
And even if he's not dead and he's some guy that's pretending not to know you, he doesn't deserve you. So why are you giving him that title? Oh, sorry, sorry. It was like his friend was here today and taking with an affidavit. He said Frank wheeled all his properties to him and he'll be going to court so that they can grant him access to his bank account. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That guy never loved you. He didn't even will anything to you knowing that you're carrying his child. What kind of man does that? He didn't will anything to you, everything to his friend. What's that? What's that? I don't understand. It's, it's, it's really painful, but it's fine. I just, I just need to see Frank's mother. They introduced me to his mother when he was alive. And the woman was very nice to me. So I need to meet with her. She'll be the only one to tell me the truth. I will go see her. I need to. Yeah, well, you have my support. You always do, you know? Just let me know when you're ready. I'll give you some money. Okay? Thank you so much. Mm, Dave. Hello? Dave, are you hearing me? Okay. Now that the relationship between me and Steve has crashed, and you know that you are the cause of everything, you haven't even called me on phone since then. Why? For crying out loud, you are Steve's friend and you are in a better position to talk to him. I love that guy so much, I don't want to lose him. Please. After all I've done for Rosie, she doesn't even care about me. She doesn't love me. She keeps on going on about Frank every time. Frank, 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 Frank. Calling him he, he, her fiancé. How could she even do that in front of me? No regard for me. You know what? I think I'm going to give Jennifer a chance. Are you not Rosie? Yes, I'm Rosie. The young lady my late son brought home the other time. Late? Yes. No, Mama. <sighs> Don't tell me that Frank is really dead because I saw someone that looks exactly like him in the city. And that is why I've come to confirm if he's truly dead or not. Like Frank? Yes. My daughter, look at where they buried my son. My only son. No. No. My four years are full, so. No. No. You and I were like fireworks. 
What we had to share was real. You took the very part of me. Now you left me in this lonely world. I told a man to be, and I saw the perfect we Didn't know that this world of ours will soon be gone. I'm so tired, like I have to go home and... Is this real? Go, guess who is calling? Alex is calling me on the phone. Pick, pick, pick him out, pick, go! <sighs> Hello, Alex. Oh my god, babe, that's so sweet of you. God, I'm so excited about this. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna drive home, get prepared, and be with you right away. Of course, sure. Oh my god. Yo, guess, 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 just guess what Alex just told me. What? Alex just invited me to this amazing dinner at his place. Girl, and he also called me a sweetheart. Oh my God, I'm super excited. Like, I can't wait to just be with him. Dinner at his place. Girl, that's dope. Wow, for real? Of course, I'm so excited about it. Oh my goodness. Look at the excitement. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Just when I thought I'm losing him, he called for a dinner date. A dinner date, girl! What? Oh, God, I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. I know this is your first week at work. I hope you're enjoying it. Trust me, everything is moving fine. I am following things the way you instructed me. And, um,. I'm trying to see how I can change the director's name and fix your own, just like you instructed. Good. You know, I put you there so I can be able to execute all my plans. And um, so as to help you, because I love you so much. You don't have a problem, my darling. You see, consider everything done. There is no, there is no cause for alarm. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Mama, you're always 
busy doing one thing or the other. Jennifer, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So what are you preparing? I want to prepare a little afan soup. Okay. Yes. So what should I help you do? Okay, let me start with the onions. I don't get. You know how to cook. Of course I know how to cook. Really? Listen, Mama, when it comes to love, I can practically do anything. I know I love Alex so much, so I just want to do anything that make him happy. I I see. That's all right. Um, Mama. Yes, then. There is something I want you to do for me. And what will that be? Um, Mama, when you're done cooking, I would please want you to put my food and Alex's bread in the same place. You know why? Because I would want to feed him. Um, sure, sure, no problem. No problem. I, I'll do that. Thank I'll do that. You. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't wait to have that meal because it's going to be so delicious. Uh, yes, yes, it will. Dave. What's up? This is like a dream come through for me. I mean, this is one of the happiest moments of my life. He don't get it. I thank you. I love this moment. I love this moment too, baby. Oh, Mimi, you're welcome. They are at the hospital. Rosie has put to bed. No, she has not. Her BP rose and she passed out, so they rushed oh. her to the hospital. That witch. I don't know why she doesn't want to die. Hmm? All she knows how to do is to spend my brother's money and shed crocodile tears. Anyways, when my brother comes, tell him I visited. I'll do that. Babe, I can't bear this anymore. Dave thinks he is smart. After making me lose my fiancé, still, he went back and reconciled with him. Now you're talking as if you don't know men. You will have problem with them and they will go and drink it over one champagne or one kind of drink. 
reconcile with themselves and you will become the victim. I said, never. Dave, he will hear from me soon. My name is Monica. You see, that's why I always say that all men are the same. They, I mean, they can't change. My sister, the other day I was on call with him. And he told me that he was not in town. Only for me to catch him red-handed. I caught him up. Driving into the same bar with Steve. And they were smiling as if all is well. Dave. Dave set me up. Eh? He will hear from me. I tell him. Hey! Monica has suffered. Hey, dog. Oh, Mr. Alex. How you doing? How you doing? I'm fine. So the situation is this, your wife had a shock, a very critical one. And because of that, she is having acute anemia. It seems she's thinking a lot. Yeah, she's going through a lot. She's going through a whole lot. You know, she's going through so much. And I just want to be there and help her, you know. Okay, she needs blood. Yeah, anything she needs. Anything she needs to feel better and get back to her best. Just give it to her. Please just make her feel good. Uh, I'll pay for it, but money is not an issue. No problem. Yeah. In that case, I suggest you head over to the counter and make some deposit. I'll make the deposit right, right away. But I, I, I'm i sorry. I hope the delivery date is not due yet. Um, it's not closed, but it's just... It's closed? The corner. It's around the corner, but it's not closed. Okay, I'll make, I'll, make the, I'll make the payment. Okay, Which sure. way? Just, uh, this way. That's the word. Okay, it's this way. No, this one. Okay. Thank you. My daughter, how are you doing now? I hope you're getting better. I wish you that. And I saw Alex. You see that lady? Oh, I'm losing myself. I couldn't just hold it. I was trying to take off. And my feet are fell. I'm sorry about that. And I understand how you feel. Your confidence is very low because Jennifer comes from a very wealthy family. She's an only child, so apparently she's the heir apparent to her father's dynasty. And Mr. Alex works in their chambers. But have you bothered asking yourself a question? Does Alex love her? Because if you ask me, you are the one Alex loves. Mm -hmm. All right. How do you know that Alex loves me? How sure are you? This is an example. What? The blood. When the doctor told him that your blood was very low, he donated his blood for you. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Now tell me, can somebody just wake up on a very good day and donate his blood or her blood to any random person who he doesn't have feelings for. That's a simple and significant sign that this man loves you. Oh. Oh, bless me. Amen. And bless you too. Mm. Oh, at least you need his blood for me. Yes, it is. Now, the only thing you owe us is to get better. Take Jennifer off your mind. She is not a competition. She is not. Believe me. Okay? Is there any special thing you would want to eat? Let me rush home and get a drink. Just a ham. With plenty of that sugar, I guess. You get that. Club. 
Hold Zoom. What is it? There is fire on the mountain. What fire in which mountain? What is pursuing you? What's the problem? Dave is gone. I was on my way to the bar with Dave. Mm -hmm. He car double crossed us. Before you know you two guys came down with gone. The other guy was checking us with the picture he had. Luckily for me, I wasn't the suspect. They checked Dave and shot him dead in my very present. I don't know the game playing, but it's becoming bloody. I managed to escape. You mean Dave is dead? Dave is dead. I think Monica did this. Yes, Monica. I think Monica did this because she felt Dave tricked her and disrupted our relationship. I am convinced she killed Dave. But I'm not moved one bit. I am done with her after all. I caught her cheating on me. I won't fall for this cheap trap. And I will get to the root of this matter myself. This is unbelievable. Yes. So you know, Dave is gone just like that. They shot me in my very presence. Uh, it's okay, man. Cheer up. Cheer up. Um, I have a surprise for you. Mommy! Chocolate drop! Yes, baby! Hey, come here, baby. Mm hmm Uh-huh. It's my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Baby, mm -hmm. this is my best friend, Brian. The one I told you would be our best man at our wedding day. Mm. Hello. Hi, pussy. I'm actually my friend that told me about you. Oh. To do much to the author and say I do. Mm. And I can't wait for you to be there. Oh, yeah. Mm? Yeah, I'll be there, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait. Has your father done anything? Nah. You know what? Let me get something, alright? Yeah, baby, run along. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. Okay. Sweet chocolate. <laughs> Man, I'm so about it. Well, we'll figure it out, don't worry. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the latest one. See, that will just. Dude, there's no on the mountain. Calm down there. now. Life goes on. Sit down. I think I'll get to the root of the matter. What, what, what are you telling me? What exactly are you telling me? How can you lose 10 million naira in the first month of your employment? How much is your salary? That you're going to lose 10 million naira in my company? How much is your salary? I'm asking you. Do you know what it takes to make money? Um, Chief, please calm down. Yeah. We are doing our best. Yeah. You know the economy is very bad. And customers are not turning up. Don't give me that nonsense. Don't! You had better sit up. Or I will unseat you. And I hope you know what that means. I will try my best, Chief. Get out of here. Chief was very, very angry about the 10 million naira we pulled out from the company account for our last weekend Dubai trip. I know you're not used to this kind of job. You're finding it difficult to cope. Don't worry. I'll handle the situation. Well, if you say so. It's just that Chief was very angry. He even threatened to sack me if I did not sit up. Uh, and you know, this is not my field. I'm just doing it because, because of you. Chief cannot fire you. I have him right here in my palm. Whatever I say stands. Come, come to mama. Come and eat me up. Make me happy. Come. Oh! <laughs> come, cross your leg over. Cross. No, 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 no. Come this way. Cross your leg. Yeah, baby. 
That's it. That's right. That's right. You know what? So Get to the bed. Let's let's ride. Come on. Oh. <laughs> um. So I just got here from the doctor's office, and he said that you're good to go. So we can head home now. Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing? I gave you my blood, and I'm trying to take you home. What did I do wrong? There you go again. Why are you pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about? You are killing me slowly. Ah. And you're asking me what I'm saying. I'm killing you slowly. Yes. Rosie, how? You are not a child, Alex. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, I think you're stressed out, you know. Um, so well, let me just take you home so you can relax. Okay. Do you want to food on our way? Bella, you needed to see the drama that witch of a girl performed at Alex's house. We were together when Alex called and invited me for dinner, right? I went there. Just when I and Alex were having this, this moment together, this amazing time together, this pregnant witch came out from nowhere and ended everything. The drama is something I can't even explain. She just came in, saw Alex and I together, and, and she fell. She fell practically with a big stomach. <laughs> everything ended. The moment, the sweet moment, the conversation, the sweet kiss. Everything ended immediately. That girl is obviously a witch. Don't worry, babes. If Alex really, really loves you, there will be another chance for both of you to be together. Okay? Just relax. Huh? The drama didn't end there. Even at the hospital, she was still performing. That girl is obviously a movie actress. Oh, yes. Do you know that? Alex and I practically slept in that hospital just so Alex would be close to her. You? Girl, it's not funny. It's not funny. We slept in the hospital because she wanted Alex to be close to her. Tell me, is that girl not a witch? Is she not a sadist? She doesn't like it when I'm happy with Alex. What word will I even use for her? She's simply a sadist. She doesn't want me together. She doesn't want us together. She doesn't want me to go close to Alex. I really know you love Alex so much. But babes, if Alex truly loves you, he will come back to you, okay? Just just take it easy. Just, just calm down, okay? Take it is distracting him, Bella. I Don't you get it? Rosie, what? Why are you like this? Eh? You just got discharged from the hospital and you're already like this. What is this one now? Look how he dropped us and left. He didn't even care to stay with us a little. I'm sure he must have gone to see that, that desperate girl. <laughs> are you serious? Am I sensing jealousy or something? Eh? <laughs> you know Alex is not like that. He can never do that. He must have gone back to work to check the workload on his table. All this while you were in the hospital, he was there with you. I'm sure that's must, what he must have gone for. And you know Alex loves you, and I'm very convinced about that. The things he did while you were admitted was proof of his love for you. The only person who can do that for you is your father, your mother, or your husband. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you know that girl? She loves him a lot. Mm. And you want to allow that bother you? It's not your business now, that's her business. Let me let you in on a little secret. Small gossip. While you were in admission, the doctor was addressing him as your husband and he never denied it. Are 
Are you serious? Yes, I am. I couldn't help overhearing them when they were talking because I was seated very close to them. Now come. Come, go upstairs, freshen up so that I'll get you something to eat. It will be better if you rest lying down, you know. I don't want to sleep like this. I will allow you because you've been lying down all this while in the hospital. But I'll soon come back to drag you upstairs. Yes. All right, then. Yes. Okay, my dear. Uh, uh, please, I need your signature. Uh, right here. Um, Alex, yeah. could you please say it? Actually, I was rushing to finish up this contract agreement sent to us by Chief Benson because so I was living to so. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Chief Benson is one of our biggest clients. Yep. Yeah. But please, spare me a few minutes. Well, I just want to say I'm sorry for the whole drama and stress given to you by your pregnant guest the other day. Oh, oh, that's not it. Well, thank you for your patience at the hospital. You know, you had patience for someone that's supposed to be your rival. That says a lot about you. You're supposed to be your rival and you had patience. Wait. It well, it's nothing. You, you probably know I can do anything for you. I really appreciate that. That's great. Thanks. Can I ask you a favor? Uh, yeah, you can ask me anything. Is there going to be another date? <laughs> I need to work on this, okay? Uh, we'll talk later though, okay? Alright, take care. You too. So you have to sign here. Just a signature. Valentina, Valentina, please, uh, hello, how are you doing? Yeah, please take these to Rosie's room, yeah? Some of the things Alex got for your baby's delivery. All these? Yes. Oh no. What have I done to deserve all of this from Alex? It's way easier. I need to thank him. Uh, he just left Indiri after he dropped them. I think maybe he went to get the other items. The rest he of the things he brought are in the store. He left? Yes. What is happening? I think Alex is avoiding me. It's quite unlike him. Rosie, you think too much. Like you said, it is quite unlike him. And I don't think Alex has a reason to avoid you. Maybe he had some other items he had to pick up from the stores or... Maybe he went back to the office to do something. But whichever way it is, he's definitely going to come back soon. Meanwhile, I still have something I'm doing in the kitchen, so should I put this in the closet thing? It's too.
Father Lord, not again, not again. I don't know each time I want to be happy like this. Something comes to disrupt it and make me unhappy. Now that Alex is doing everything possible to make me a happy woman, I don't know what is diverting his attention. Father, please, I don't want this to happen, please. I beg you, please. Oh. Honey, the money you brought will not be enough to take Mama to the hospital. The doctor says she has high blood pressure, ulcer, syphilis, malaria, acute fever, oh. even monkey pus. Hi. He even said they need to run some scan on her. I don't want anything to happen to my mother. Oh, she's all I got. She's all the only thing I have. Eh? Honey, I was even telling her about you, and she has been clamoring to meet her daughter-in-law. And now this this illness, this illness wants to spoil you for me. Shh. Hey! Nothing. Nothing will happen to my mother-in-law, okay? I'll make sure I do everything possible for my mother-in-law to get back on her feet again. Then we'll go to the village and see her. Honey, th th that's exactly what I'm saying. That's, that's what I want. If, 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 if it's possible for you to, you know, bring in more, more, more dollars so that we can send her to the hospital. Imagine, the doctor even said that her BP is 500. And that is too critical. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. I'll give you extra $3,000 to add with the $2,000 you have already. Eh? Yes. That's, that's $5,000. <laughs> I just hope it will be enough. Yes, of course, baby, it will be enough. Yeah. Yes. Yes, come here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, baby. You're such a lifesaver. Oh, thank you. I love you. It's okay. I love you. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Oh. Oh, so my mother is not going to die. Ah, oh, baby. God bless you. Daughter, you are lucky to meet me here. I was about going to the farm. This one you are here, what happened to my son, your husband? Ah, Mama, that is the reason I am here. Mm. Yes, Mama, your son is fine. Oh. I came to discuss something with you. Eh, mm. what is it? Mama, mm. your son caught me. My son caught you. With knife or chisel? Where? Where did they cut you? Mama, it's not like that. Mama. Your son caught me with a man on the Aru! Abomination. Please, Mama, I want you to beg him. You know I love him so much. I don't want to lose him. Eh? Chukwama. Wait, wait. Let me understand you. My son caught you on a bed with a man. And you have the courts. The effort to come and tell me that she go and beg my son for you. It's not like that. I, I, so I, how? Mama, I mean, I don't know. Call to, by the call to. You be call, we be call. Mama, please, it's not like that. Eh. I, I, I don't know how to explain this to you. Okay, just so it. Hold on. <laughs> Let me go and change so I can follow you to the city so I can go and beg my son for you. Yeah? Mama, No, please. No, chill him, chill him. Look at her. I'm more of you. You are not even ashamed of yourself. Dating a young boy that is old enough to be your son. I'm more of you. Eh? Hey! Lekor! Aruku! Buriko! Ike Madata and Dochi! Let me, let me, let me, let me catch you again. No, you should have waited for me. Let me use this knife. Beg, beg, go, go, I'm off ya. Let me catch you. What's wrong with Frank? No, it's hard time I talk sense into him. What is he doing all in name of playing games with all these old cargoes? Eh? No, now. 
Enough is enough. I need to talk to my son. You are lucky. Rosie, why are you doing this to yourself? Hmm? It's late already. You should be in bed by now. Alex is not back. Look at the time. It's almost midnight. Don't worry, I'll wait for him. Rosie, Alex is an adult. He can take care of himself. In your own case, you have an unborn child in your womb. You, you cannot do this to yourself in this condition. You need to go and lie down. I'm not doing anything to myself, but I have to wait for him. Rosie, I need you to go and lie down now. Whenever Alex comes back, I will come and let you know. Rosie, please. What is it now? I know, but just come lie down, okay? Please. I promise you will let me know. I will let you know once he comes back. I will. I promise. Are you sure it's not him? No, it's not him. It's not him. Bro, are you going straight to your house or the office? <sighs> Bro, this drama is stressing me out, man. I'm all worked up, you know. I'm even avoiding my own house. Can you imagine? It's gotten to the level that I'm avoiding my own house. I, I understand, because you are my friend. You're always welcome to my house, any day, any time. But I wouldn't want it to look as if you're deliberately avoiding your house. I'm sure Rosie will be looking for you. M must be worried even last night that you didn't sleep in your house. What do you want to do? Huh? It's, I'm stuck between the rock and the hard place. There's no safe haven for me. If I go to the house, I'll be falling in love with Rosie with her condition. If I go to the office, Jennifer's making advances of me. You know? Do you know I haven't been paid for the last month at my chambers? Because I'm working for Jennifer's father. They haven't paid me for one month, and I'm sure that Jennifer is holding back that payment so I can come close to her or whatever she wants. I don't know. You see, I, I see reasons with you. But that lady in your house, if you like that lady, I think her due date is near. Then she put to bed, and you guys can start up something. Yeah, but we don't know who her baby daddy is, like if he's alive or dead. Like, do you have me? That one is it's complicated. It's complicated, man. complicated man. If the guy is alive or if he's dead or yeah. if the story is behind it. But that means Jennifer is the options. You understand? You get married to Jennifer and you have a lot of things to gain there. Become the boss of the office and the husband as well. Yeah, I uh, appreciate your concern, man. I have to head out. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's all right, man. All right, man. Take care. Keep about it, too. You're using one stone to kill two beds. Yeah, yeah. Becoming a boss and even a husband. Yeah. Face. <laughs> I told you I was going to handle the situation. Mm. Chief has finally fired that useless idiot of a manager. Wow. I got him a new manager who happens to be my boyfriend. Ha! You bad. Chai! Mm. Babe, I carry nyash for you. In fact, I raise breasts for you. <laughs> but in beep. One thing is remaining. Get pregnant for him. Get pregnant, give him a child so he can will all his properties to you. I don't want you to stay here and then his brothers and sisters from the village will come and claim everything. Babes, I've been trying my best. But he's not entering. I don't know what to do. Wait, sweet, I don't understand. You've been trying your best. Is it that Chief is impotent? No. It's not possible because he already has a child that died. Honestly, I don't know what to do. This whole thing is giving me concern. I am pain. <sighs> Excuse me, I'll be cool. Okay. Uh, 
Hello? I was calling to know if you were my brother. I've been trying this line, but he's not picking up. I tried calling him the next day. His phone was switched off. What? Has it got into that? Take care. What's the problem? Babes, I need to go to my brother's house right now and sort things out. It's but it. calm down. Just take it easy, okay? I'll talk to you later. Sister, if you weren't a lady, I would have knocked you right now. How can you treat a pregnant woman like this? Look at the condition she's in. Which condition? She's pregnant! I'm trying to save your ass, Alex! I don't need you to save me. I'm so sorry. Let's go back inside, okay? Let's go back inside. Hey, this will not happen again. This will not happen again. Alex, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? How can you come to my house and be terrorizing a pregnant woman? Hey, leave. She leave. Leave my house. Leave. 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 Lucy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so Justice which I know. Hey, Chief Benson. You <laughs> see, um, <laughs> politics is um, it's one game that I would long want to play again. I'm done with politics. You. I am done with Chief politics. Benson, I'm you. Oh. You, the truth. <laughs> you will never leave politics. <laughs> I said I am done with politics. Honestly. Uh, Chief Benson, I'm sorry for the death of your wife and daughter. Since you called me on phone, I've never met out of time. Please, I'm sorry. You know I've not been around. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Well, the deed is done. There's nothing anyone can do about it anymore. That is too painful. It's just that I'm, I still cannot forgive myself that I caused all this for myself. The death of my wife, my daughter. Hey. How can I forgive myself? Chief Benson, it's okay. Remove your mind from it. God knows the best. No, no one can question God. Well, it's okay. It's just that um, sometimes uh, I... Chief, uh, Chief Benson, that reminds me. I want to inform you. I've handed everything about my chamber to my daughter. You know, oh. she's a qualified lawyer. Yeah, that's very good. That's very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's why we have them to take over from <laughs> us. <laughs> it's just that um, whenever you talk about your daughter, it makes me feel so sad about my own daughter. Oh, yes. That I, I pushed her to her early death. 
and achieve all best. All because of politics. Oh, you don't need to worry. But it's okay. Um, as I, as I told you, my daughter is there. She's also there for you. You don't need to worry. It's all right. Huh? I won't hesitate to get in touch if there's anything she can do for me. Good, good. She's the author to present me. So it's here for you. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you. Well, let's go, please. Girl, I've got gist for you. Mm, wow. Father and I went to Chief Benson's house. Chief Benson, our great client. Yes. We actually went to pay him a condolence visit for the death of his late wife and daughter. His daughter died? Yes. As I heard, she's equally a lawyer. Wow. You guys would have been great family friends, you know? Of course. I would have been worried with her, you know? Hmm. Chief Benson is bastardly rich. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> that reminds me. Have you released Alex's salary? I haven't. What do you think? Should I? Yes. Especially now that that pregnant girl of his is about to deliver. And I did it because of that pregnant witch at first. I found out that the excess allowances I'm giving to Alex is the reason why that girl is still in that house. Eating and drinking the way she wants to. So I thought if I delay it a bit, she will lack and leave. But obviously it's not working. The bitch still wants to stay in that house. And I know Alex. Alex is not going to talk. He's just going to be there looking at that girl, squandering his money just like that. Anyways, I know what to do. What's wrong? Alex. Oh, very good man. And I want to use this medium to thank you for everything that you have done for me. The love, the care, the attention, everything. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to cry. Please In don't cry. In my next life, I will still want to be your good friend. Me too. Me too. But a lot has gone wrong. I've become a problem in your home. You're not a problem. No, I am. You're not. Before now, your sister was here and she said a whole lot. She came over again? As always. I'm so sorry. Babe, please don't, don't take... I understand. It is not your fault. I know you. But I think it's high time I ended all of this. And then what? I have to end it. And what? No, you, you. I want you to stay here. I want you to keep staying here. Don't end your stay in my house. My I miserable want... life. What? Yes. Just what you did. What are you talking about? What, Whoa! No, what are you doing? Stop. What's this? Stop. Just stop. 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 What are you doing? Oh, I don't like Where'd you even find this? Where'd you get this from? What's this? What? Easy. Are you... Babe, you're loved. You're loved. You are. No. How? How dare you do that to people that love you? How dare you want no, to do that to people that love you? I'm depressed. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I I, you're loved. I love you. People love you. Please. We need you here. We need you here. We need you here. We need you here. Okay, please. I'm begging. It's okay. Please stop crying, please. Don't do it to the people that love you. Price. Don't be. Well, let's get through it together, babe. I promise you. Oh my God, what I'm no, let's get through it together. I promise you, babe. I promise you. We are going to take every single step together, and everything's going to be fine. Yeah, people love you. Too many people. You love you and I people. were like fireworks. I love you. What we had and share was real. Okay. You took the very part of me, you know. Now you left me in this lonely world I told a man to be And I saw the perfect we you know Mama the mama <laughs> I don't come here again no. I beg, where is my food? It's over there uh, But mama, you get what I want to ask you But if I say I can ask you now You could say I don't be your mate 
See my son is this small, but my son is fifty pass or no. Uh, Cletus, of a truth, you're not my meat. Hmm? And coming to talk about the salary, how much is your salary? Is it up to 50,000? Anyway, my salary is only 50,000 naira. But they're collecting 5,000 naira, but doesn't mean, it doesn't mean I'm a, I'm a poor man. She, he, so you're a rich man. <laughs> Mr. Gatesman, the rich man. <laughs> Please, please. I don't have your power this afternoon because let's carry your food and go. Mama, forget that thing. Give it to her once again. Okay. That's your sister. She debuted like the Army of Uganda. Mm. See the way she treat her to Rose. Her condition. My dear. But anyway, Ever since I came into this house, this is the first time you are making sense. It's not for trying to insult. They insult me so much. I'm just being realistic. Because you have finally shown me that it's not all about food where you're concerned. You are a human being and you have empathy. Uh, Mama, I pity the man that reminded that girl. Uh, mm. I pity him because the man will die before his time. Uh, but since that day, I never see her in this house. Where is she? Uh, she's you not go... been here since that incident. She just left. That girl a fire. Out. <laughs> but by the way, I don't say three minutes to go there for my food. <clears throat> Cletus, I actually put ten, ten pieces of meat in your food as the ogre in char. Yes. Abby, yes. ten pieces. If you don't pick that plate of food and get out of here, I will make sure I kick you higher than this building. Every time you do, you do I will to see you, madam, for this house. One day, I will be my own guy and I will employ you. You will lose me? You now. Thank you, Ah, Ah, Tina. Honey, baby, hi, sweetheart, hi, 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 
me. Baby, help me. <laughs> you think you were smart. Now, who is smarter? <laughs> In your nest of world, do not play with women. Be nice to them. God forbid. Not my own son, Frank. No, now my son cannot die. God, please. Please save my son for me. Please come. Ba, I need to call you. No. Daniel, the phone is ringing. Let me check this. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's not done. Yeah, it's having its words. Oh, Mama, how are you? You had a terrible dream about him. And you want to see him in the village? Oh, okay, no problem. Once he comes out, I will tell him he's in the bedroom. I hope you're fine, Mama. All right, take care of yourself, okay? Honey, I thought I heard you talking on the phone with somebody. Ah, oh, sweethearts. It's actually your mom. dream about you that you should come to the village oh come on Peter. i told you my mother has lots of malaria and fever it's probably symptoms of malaria speaking there i don't think so because she sounded so serious about this i think we should go visit her then i'll use the opportunity to meet my mother-in-law ah, ah. dad <laughs> all right okay that's fine. That, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Anything for you? Yeah. Please come here. What do you oh. want? <laughs> no, I want. Get your ass here, girl. <laughs> come here, bad girl. You know who this is. Get your ass. Baby, no, you don't want to do something. Baby, come on. Don't do like this. Darling, I saved you your food. You refused to eat it. What's the problem? I'm not in the way to eat anything. I lost appetite. My love, I have told you to stop thinking. I don't like your mood and it's affecting me. Since um, my friend Justice Uchen visited me with um, his daughter, I started missing my daughter again. Can you imagine? She's the one managing his genders, and I pushed my own daughter to, to her death. She would have been the one managing my company if she is to be alive. I am yet to forgive myself. I know you miss her so much. I also miss her too. I know if she was alive, we could have been friends. You know, 
we would have been doing things together and all that. And I, I have the same feeling that our age is close to mine. Yeah. You're almost the same age, so maybe you might be a year or two older than I. It's okay. Yeah. Um, you said um, you wanted to go and uh, visit your brother. How did it go? Hmm. Chief, my brother brought a destitute into his house. He is housing her, feeding her, doing everything for her. A destitute? As we speak, they are threatening to sack him in his office because of this same girl. What's that supposed to mean? Is your brother that cheap? Anyways. I'll talk to him when I see him. I mean, he's my in-law to be. I, I wouldn't want him to behave like that. It's okay. Please do. Why could he bring a destitute to the house? Somebody he barely knows. He just met her on the road. The next thing, he carried this girl to his house. Remember me? No, I don't. But the face looks quite familiar. Oh, the lady you came to the house the other day accusing her man, Steve. Frank? I, I, I hope I'm safe. Oh no, there's no problem. You are quite safe. Um, besides, I'm no longer with him anymore. Steve, Frank, or whatever he calls himself, I'm no longer with him. Have you been able to see your husband or your fiancé? I'm really not interested in that anymore. As you can see, I am heavily pregnant, just coming back from Continental. All I need right now is to have my baby and be fine. I don't care whether he's still alive or dead. It's not my problem anymore. Here is my card. Call me whenever you're in good mood, okay? All right, have a nice day. Can I give you a lift? No, no, don't worry. I'll take a taxi. The doctor said that I'll be due by next week. Really? Congratulations, that's, that's great news. Thank you. Um, guess who I saw today? Who? Monica. Frank's woman. She told me that, um, that she wants to be my friend and gave me her card. That they're no longer together. Mm, that's complicated. No. You have to be careful with her. I mean, it could be a setup. Right? Yeah. I think you have a great point there. The same. <gasps> Ooh. Sorry. You good? Perfect. So next week, huh? Yeah, no, so he said, but take a look at it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I was an art student. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but it says next week. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that's what I need to know. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. 
Do you need help? Like, do you need me to get you anything? Or? I want to go inside. You're going inside? Alright. Um, you sure? Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back. Okay. My little Yes. Have you eating? Have you eating something? Uh, don't worry about me. No, no, no. I'll get you something no, to eat. No, 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 no. no I will. <laughs> I will. Hey, Mama. Ha. Mama. Oh, how are you? Mama, what's up now? This one, there's no network on your face. Are you all right? Good afternoon, Mom. Mama, what's going on? Baby, uh, she's probably tired and stressed from the farm work, I'm oh, sure. Okay. She seems to be in a bad mood. Good afternoon, Mom. You're welcome, my daughter. <laughs> uh, Mama, uh, Peach and I will be inside, huh? You can go in. Baby. I don't like this, so Frank, I want to talk to you. I am no longer comfortable with all these your games. You are playing just in the name of collecting money from those your clients. I'm telling you the cost of truth. I am sick and tired of them. So you better stop. Frank, I had a terrible dream about you last night. And you know my dreams always come to pass. I was in a dream. That older woman you came back home with the other time poisoned you and you bleeded to death. Wait, let me ask you. How do you even think that all these ladies you are collecting money from, after collecting money, you dump them? Do you think that they will help you with you? No, they won't. So you better stop it now. Mama, Mama, you, you, you worry yourself for nothing. Nobody can kill me. No woman can kill me. Not even poison. Stop worrying about all this thing. Mama, I've told you time without number that this is just a game. Mama, look at the good life we've been having. Look at all the goodies I've been bringing back to the village. The rice, the beans, the, the oils, the good life, the, the, the good clothes. Where do you think I got all the money from? It's from these women. Look at me. I don't have any job doing in the city. These women feed me. Okay, the land I bought the other day. Where do you think I got the money from? It's from Jane. She gave me the money to buy that land. Yes. Look, Mama, you have to just help me. You need to cheer her up. Okay? Bear my son, even though that you need to be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer comfortable with it. Mama, I know what your problem is. You know, I've been giving you Naira lately and um, it seems you're not comfortable with it. But this time around, guess what I have? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, this is dollar. I hope this can cheer you up. Baby, will I change this one now? Ah, uh -uh. Mama, <laughs> you have a lot of people where you can change it now. Hey. Jane deals in dollars. Yes. So, Mama. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Put one up, put one. Mama, take it. Mama, you <laughs> like money. <laughs> hey, so, see, right? see, I'm going to cheer up. Mm -hmm. eh? But see, you have to. Very careful. No we have to be careful. We are doing it in our house. Please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Huh? Nothing will happen to me, okay? I love you. Oh, fire, I'm Jafo Zokibu. Please go and check Jane off. I will. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs>
Come on, Alex. Just speak up already. Pick. Oh, come on. You started again. If he's not picking, I mean, maybe he's busy or something. Busy that he can't pick my call? Bella, what are you saying? You know what, Bella? I blame you for all of this. You're the one that advised me to delay his salary so it will affect the pregnant girl. But I am the one being affected here. Don't worry, okay? When he seriously needs money, trust me, he will come running to you. It could be that the pregnant girl is yet to put to bed. Come on, calm down. God, this whole thing is really affecting me, Bella. It's affecting me. I'm the one affected here. You know how much I really love Alex. You know, and I don't want anything to come between us. I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. I see someone is in love here. Okay. You know what I'll do? I'll call Alex for you. Okay? Bella, if calling Alex will make him pick my calls, please do. I will really appreciate it. I will. I'll do that. Huh? I'll go talk to him for you, okay? Just relax. Please. And with this law report, catch you. It's fine. Alex, you've not been coming to the office and you've not even come to sign to pick up your check to get your salary. I mean, your friend and your madam has been calling you and you're not picking. Do you, I don't know, do you think this is the right thing to do? Well, I need to mind up. I need to, you know. Jennifer tries to exploit me because I work for her father's company. You know, but I'm a man. I'm a full-blown lawyer and I'll survive, you know? Honestly, I'm even thinking of quitting that law profession, you know, so I can face my aviation studies. Well, that's still good. But you know, you have to graduate before you become a pilot. And you have to be feeding from your legal profession before you graduate from the aviation school. Of course, you know you're doing a part-time study. And you know how the program is. It won't end easily. You know that Jennifer loves you so much. I know. But the problem is I'm in love with this lady in my house. You know? I just don't know how to tell her. I don't understand. How can you be in love with a pregnant woman that you're not even the father of the baby? It's not her fault that the person I impregnated her died. I mean, they were going to get married and the, the guy passed away. You know, had an accident. And ever since she's been in this house, she's been responsible and principled. You know, I can't just put away everything I've been working for just because Jennifer's dad has money. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Oh, Alex. You have to think about this. Please. You see, okay, let's look at it this way. You are going to be the MD and CEO of Justice Firm. And then call it. Justice Uchindu's associate will be attending your wedding. You can imagine what that means. About it. It's a tempting offer, if I'm being honest. You know, I can't. You know what? I think Rosie needs to give birth before I can make up my mind. I can't make up my mind right now. Ah, uh, can't say much anymore, right? It's alright. I have to get back to the office. Be on my way. Okay. Say hi to everybody at the office. I will. I will. <laughs> Thank you for coming, man. You're welcome. Please. Pick up her phone, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you. All right, take care. Mama, make sure you take your medicine, huh? <sighs> Sorry, Mama. <laughs> My daughter. Maybe 
my daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. My mom welcoming you mm -hmm. when April came in. I was so sick. Mm -hmm. I noticed. That was why I gave him some money for a trip to me. Uh, yes, she actually gave me a lot of money. Five thousand dollars. Eh? Fa <laughs> anyway, no. God will bless you for Amen. See, oh, I have finished welcoming you to my house. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, yeah, Mama. Yeah. Whenever you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Oh, my name is Mama. Yes. See, you know, uh, I don't know. When are we going to see their parents? Very soon, Mama. Very, very soon. Yes. Your mom is so funny. Oh, my peach. Baby. Uh, see that? Um, let me just see her briefly. Yeah? Okay. Wait for me in the car. Okay, Mama. Oh, okay, Mama. 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 Okay, Mama. 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 Nah. Hey, do you know that old cargo you came back home with last time you came home? Moneka. Oh, yes, Moneka. <laughs> he came here oh, pleading with me that I should beg you that you should welcome her. Hmm. That you caught her with Emma. That harlot. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to see her close to me nor you again. Uh -huh. Mama, don't ever have anything to do with her. Mike, Neginka. Do you know what happened? Hey. And you could have me also. Good. I Check sir out of ice cream bar. Good. You're supposed to know what That's my do. mama. I uh, trust you. Uh -huh. My balance. This is chicken dog is own nigga. What balance are you talking about, mama? Jane said that she gave you five thousand dollars. And you came and gave me five hundred dollars. Eh? Mama, I can't give you more than five hundred dollars, oh. I gave you more than five hundred. I gave you six hundred dollars. Mama, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, I'm going to call you Zoshi. I'm going to wait now. Uh, you, you know, I have, I have a lot of commitment. Oh, oh, yeah. add, add this one. Just add it. Add it. It's enough. Mama, let me go. Jane is waiting in the car. Eh? No, Take no, care no, of no. yourself. Eh? Be careful. Yeah, I will. I will. Huh? Baby! I was able to talk to Alex the other day, and guess what? He'll be resuming work very soon. He did. Mm -hmm. If you're saying the truth, why hasn't he called? If you don't believe me, pick up your phone and call him. Right away. I'm so sorry for what I did. I only did that to get her the pregnant girl in your house. Nothing more. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. It won't happen again. I. I thought the girl was actually coming between us. Vivi? Oh my god, Vivi, I can't wait to have you back to work. Thank you so much and I love you so very much. I'm 
excited. My day is made. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> ah, who is that? Hey, ah. Madam. How are you? <laughs> now you're I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> ah, ah, madam, madam, madam. Ah, ah. Ah, on can say make an open gate for you. Let me please go out of the room, please. Ha. Madam, madam, Oga say well, like, Oga say make an open gate for you at all, at all. Eta, Oga say you should not open gate for me. Ha. Are you mad? No, 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 madam. Eta, please get away. Madam, you know I see the bee now. I will lose my job. Oga, Oga no day. Eta, smell out of the room. Madam, road. madam, madam. Ah. Madam. What's going on here? Madam. Oga say make no open gate for this woman. No. Ha. Who are you? <laughs> Is that question meant for me? No, I don't think so. Because the last time I checked, I'm in my fiance's house. So, Steve is now your fiance. Steve. Anyway, madam, it's obvious you just lost your way. My fiance's name is not Steve. His name is Daniel, okay? So. Oh! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh! Oh! Now! Steve is no longer Steve. He's now answering Daniel. Eh? Madam. Hey! Wonder shall never end. Hey! <sighs> anyway, it's it's obvious you're done here. Let's uh, take Madame. care of this woman. <laughs> Meaning? <laughs> Madam, well, I, it is finished too. <laughs> Madam, I beg the go again. Madam, Madam. Don't touch me! <laughs> well, I. Ete? Madam. You, even you that I used to dash money and feed in this same house. You, Ete? Madam, no be my fault. Now, Oga is strong too. You know, if I don't do as Oga do, I will lose my job. Madam, I beg the go. Ete, come. Eh? Come, make her come. Come here. Have it. Madam. <laughs> Madam. Come, 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 come. Who is that woman? Madam. No gun you wife be that oh. Madam, thank you, thank you. Thank you, madam. Steve is dealing with me. Steve is playing with fire. Hi! I went to Steve's house. I met a lady there. Old fool. And Steve even changed his name to Daniel. Ah. <laughs> ah! Jeez. That guy is a player. <sighs> that guy is a big time player. Hi. What I discovered is this. As far as you have money and you can do undoable, you can win. Mm. He will come and suck you dry. He will just suck you dry. He will suck you dry. With all this packing. After sucking you dry, babe, he will move on to another. And, and his specialty is old cankles. If you see this one, it's almost 90 something years. Mm, somebody help. If you see this one I saw in his house, hey! I wish I collected that girl's number that day I met her. Yes, it would have helped. Hey, God. I pray that that girl calls me. Please, God, let her call me. How will she Wait, get your number? How? I gave her my number. I pray she calls me. I need to teach this boy a lesson. We need to team up. Hey, man. I'm coming down. It's okay. I can't calm down. No, no, no calm down. <laughs> it's okay. You want to know. It's okay. Ah! Oh. Ah! Madame Tina! Madame Tina! Oh! 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 oh. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Please! Take me to the 
You're in labor. Oh, Cletus! Cletus! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Cletus! Cletus! Let's go outside. The cat can't. The cat will. It's in Oga's room, it's in Oga's room. Come, 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 let's help her today. Uh, just come. Uh, uh, get serious, get, get serious, how do you believe it? Come on, stand up. Hold her. Uh, sorry, my dear, sorry, sorry, sorry. just take it easy. Uh, take it easy. I'm sorry for not picking up your calls, you know, and for giving you an to it. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I mean, the most important thing is that you're here with me now. I've missed you so much. Hello? Well, I'm seeing, I just want you calling me. Hope everything is okay. Okay, no, no, no. Calm down, calm down. I'll be home right away. Okay, I'll be home right away. Yes. I have to go into the house. I need, I need to get home. Okay, Rose is pregnant. I mean, Rose is in labor. She's in labor. Could you start the call, please? What is all this? Each time we want to have a good time, this girl always obstructs it. There's no time for this. Please, we need to get to the house right now. Please, just start the call. Let's go. I'm come doing on. that. of frustration is this? God, why are you trying to punish me with this pregnant lady? Each time I want to have a good time with my man, this lady just... She will always be an obstacle to me. She will always stand as an obstacle. This is really exhausting. This is so exhausting, God. I beg you, I beg you. Just, just take her life in that hospital. Just take her life. Kill her for me. Just kill her. Kill the baby. I can't stand this madness anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't.
Down. She's always okay. okay. Calm down. Your wife is fine. Okay. Your wife okay. Is fine. I need to see her baby. I'm sorry. We tried our best, but we lost her. We lost the baby. What? We lost the baby. You lost the baby. How do you why do you no God no no? How do you lose the baby now? Put yourself together. I'm together. Why do you lose the baby? Jenny, what happened? You didn't come back with Alex. Bella, I don't know what is happening. I have no idea what is happening anymore. Each time I want to have a good time with Alex, this pregnant witch always disrupts. What is it this time? Could you imagine that I was in the car with Alex having this amazing time with him? Having this quiet conversation with him. Just when I wanted to kiss him, his phone rang. Guess who called? The chef. The chef called and said that the pregnant winch is about to give birth and he needs to be taken to the hospital. Of course, I don't need to tell you the rest of the story. Oh my God. But thank God. Maybe she will die there, so you can have Alex to yourself and be at peace. One minute, Alex is coming. Hey, what's good? It's fine. Don't worry about that. OMG, that's so sad. What about you? Hope you're cool. It's all right. Bye. Alex said she put to bed, but the baby died. She lost the baby and she's still alive. Yeah, she lives. Girl, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? <gasps> if she lost the baby, this lady will fight so hard to bounce back to get Alex. She will start dragging Alex with you. Because had it been the baby lived, it would have been a distraction to her. But right now, <laughs> it's going to be bumper to bumper between you Alex and her. Come on, think about it. <coughs> Baby, is it that all that we have been doing and not Entering or that I have not been shooting directly into the net. Baby, why are you talking like this? You know I've been trying. Are you trying to tell me that if I don't get pregnant, you won't marry me? No, oh, no. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I cannot be doing this manual labor without anything to show for it. I'm not getting any younger. I need an heir to inherit all that I have. But I'm trying. I'm not God. Excuse me, I have a call. Bro, how are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry, what is sad news? But at least now you'll be a free man. 
Who was that? My brother. He just told me that the witch of his girlfriend that was pregnant put to bed, but unfortunately she lost the child. Oh. <sighs> At least now that she has given birth, he will kick her out of his house and become a free man once again. Mm. I think I will need to... I'd like to see that your brother. I need to talk to him. He's a man. And he shouldn't be that loose and um, free, you know, to women to an extent that they will be controlling him. Before he turns the woman rapper. That would be nice of you. I would appreciate if you actually talk to him. Send for him, I'll talk to him. Mr. and Mrs. Alice, they're waiting for you in the car. They are done settling the bills. So they say you should come along. Okay. They, they have this in the doctor. Yes, they have settled the doctor. Yes. So that you'll learn what you're going to do. Okay, finish me. Honey. Yes, baby. There's this certain woman that was here earlier on, claiming to know you. Claiming to know you. She was even referring you as Steve, a sort of Daniel. <sighs> anyway, I managed to send her away. A certain woman? Yeah. But I don't remember inviting any woman over. Well, maybe it's one of these desperate women that are looking for a man to tie down. <laughs> desperate women? Yeah. But your gitman said that when she was honing, that you asked him never to open the gate for her whenever she comes around. Oh, I don't get that. Oh, 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 honey, I totally forgot. I forgot to mention it to you. There is this woman that has been disturbing me for friendship. She promised to give me anything I want just to be her friend. But I turned her down. I turned her down and I refused ever since then. She has been disturbing me and insisting we become friends. Hmm, I see. When Nancy she comes around, she'll have me to contend with. Sweetheart. Yes, baby. You know how much I love you, right? Yes. Not even with that old, old cargo, okay? You know what? I promise to provide for you everything that you need. Just yes. make sure that I'll do it for you. Yeah, I just want you to be with me. Yes, baby, of course, of course, I want to be with you. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't want to be with a, a, a rare gem like you? So, I, I mean, you're everything I want. You fit my description. You're the perfect thing. I promise you, I will never fault you for anyone. That's good. You're the sweetest thing on earth. And I love it. <laughs> Come here, let me give you that sweetness. I can't wait. <sighs> Hey, baby girl, what's happening? What's up? How are you? I'm fine. It's been a long time. Oh yeah, it's been quite long. I've missed you so much. You don't even care to come check on us. Why? Not really. It's just that I stay with my fiancé right now. I can see. Your fiancé is always taking care of you. Yes, he is. Please, where is Alex? Alex didn't come to work. He didn't come to the office today and he's not home. It's alright, so how are you coping with my brother Alex? Hope you guys are getting along well. My dear, it's not been easy. Each time I want to reconnect with your brother, that girl always comes out to interrupt. I don't know what to do again. I'm just so tired of the whole drama. My father has willed everything to me, practically everything, the companies, the properties. And I've told Alex, I am ready to spend the rest of my life with you. But I don't even know if Alex is even listening to me anymore. <sighs> what 
what haven't I said to him? I even told him that he's going to be in charge of everything. Yet, he doesn't care. The worst part of it is that I don't know the kind of charm that witch used on my brother that made him stick on her. But now that she has given birth, we will know who owns the house. Don't worry, I'll handle her myself. I know what you can do. But listen, this battle is mine, all right? I know what I would do to her. Don't worry yourself. It's okay. All right. Bye. Again. I said, did I talk to you? You're you again. There's something wrong with your head. You again. Oh, you came to eat my money, I swear. What money? You came to eat my money, I swear. You came to eat my money, I swear. Huh? You came to eat my money, I swear. You came to eat my money, I swear. You came to eat my money. You came to eat my money, I swear. What is wrong with you guys? You said, what is wrong with me? You are doing fine boy. Fine boy, not fine boy. Why is you doing? I said, fine boy, not fine boy. What is wrong with you? Fine boy, not fine boy. 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 I can't, I, can't I, can't I can't stand this shit. I can't stand this shit. I can't stand this shit. You can't stand this shit. This shit. That's And you. And you. I will do with you. I will do with you. I will do with you. Look, now that Rosie has put to bed, I think we should send her out of the house. You have tried so much for her. Besides, she lost the baby, so what's her use to you? Look, she needs to leave the house so you can move on and be a free man. You just said it right there. She lost the baby. You can't just kick her out. She's feeling vulnerable now. She, she's feeling the loss. It's a deep wound. Okay, she needs to heal and for, for that she needs time. I can't just kick her out now. That'd be too insensitive, okay? I can't do it. Whatever. Look. Jennifer is the best for you. I still insist. All right? She's the only daughter of her father. And her father owns the law firm where you work. So, be with Jennifer. Everything is under control, okay? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Okay? You don't know what you're doing. Be with Jennifer and leave that poor witch. Whoa! Why would you call her? Why would you? Why would you call her names? But that's, that's who she is. That's uncalled for. You shouldn't insult her. Come on, sis. Like I said, I've heard you, and your concern is noted, but everything is under control, okay? I know what I'm doing. I promise. I promise. Well, please, let's not call anybody names, please. It's not, it's not, it hasn't got something to that now. Please. I didn't advise my legs to throw you out of the house. Few days you just put to bed and you lost your baby already. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all that she's advising the brothers asking to leave the house. I know she never liked me. I'm just too grateful to Alex for everything he has done. I don't have a problem if they want me to leave the house. She doesn't need to advise him to send me out. I know what I'm supposed to do. And I will do it in no time. I really feel for you. I, I, I wish there was more I could do in this situation, but there isn't. Eh? But I know God will definitely see you through all this. He will guide your steps and he will always be there for you. Even if Alice asks me to leave his house today, I will still not be angry. You will always remain my friend. 
because he's a nice guy. She doesn't need to stress herself. I'll leave your house. It's just that each time I remember that, the death of my baby. It's so bad. It's okay, man. You're a nice person. Thank you so much. I wish it was in my power to do more than this. If you leave, where are you going to? Where will you go? I always find my way around. I'm really very worried about you. But not to worry. I know God is seated on the throne and He is watching your every step. I believe He'll guide you on the right path. That mad woman and drove away. But baby, you shouldn't have been engaged in a fight with her in the first place. You know that mad woman came for trouble and he ended up embarrassing me there. This is not what I'm expecting you to say. Meanwhile, I want you to explain something to me. Why are you answering different names? Stephen, Daniels. Wait a minute. I hope you know what I'm thinking. Baby. Please don't let this mad woman come between us. Remember all the things we share. Look, I believe she's doing all these things just to get at me. Look, it is you I wanted. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't take you to the village to introduce you to my mother in the first place. I did all that because I want to marry you. I'm sorry for what happened. For fighting that idiot. I'm so sorry, Kay. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. I'm so sorry, huh? I'm so sorry. What should I do you? I'm okay. 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 I'm to get pregnant for Chi before it's too late. I mean, if Chief could no longer perform because he's getting old, why don't you get a man to get you pregnant? Oh God, I have a man. Austin has been my boyfriend before I introduced him to Chief as the manager of his company. I have been sleeping with him without protection, but I haven't gotten pregnant. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know if Chief is waiting for me to get pregnant before he can do something on my head. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Anyway. What are you thinking? It's like God punishing you for maltreating that poor innocent girl in the brother's house. Maybe that's why you could not get pregnant. You're very stupid. If I, you must be out of your mind. You're mad. I know why I'm saying this. Because I don't want the God to blame me as well. Because me, I want to have my own children. God will definitely blame you. Because you have been the one advising me to maltreat that poor girl. If what I'm going through is as a result of my actions towards her, that means you will never have ovulation in your life. I reject it in Jesus' name. I reject it. What kind of nonsense is this? You, you are useless, in fact. What am I doing in your house? What nonsense? Uh, I'm just saying my mind here. Rosie, how can you be thinking of leaving when Mr. Alex hasn't told you to go? Madam Tina, what are you saying? Alex will not kill himself for me. I mean, a lot has been going on. Listen, I don't even need to talk too much. I think it's high time I left. I need to leave this house. Why? To where? To where, Rosie? Where are you going to? I don't even know where I'm going, but I just have to leave. That's not right. Rosie. Ro Rosie, don't do this. Mr. Mr. Alex! Mr. Alex! Mr. Alex! Mr. Alex, 
Miss Annette, I beg you. I beg you with everything you hold there. Please don't let her go, please. What's happening? <laughs> Rosie, she's packing her things. She's, she's insisting what? on leaving. Why? I don't know, and I don't even know where she's going to from here. Please what? Don't is she her serious? She, she is. All right, let's. I need to go talk to her. Does that? Please do, please do. That's ridiculous. Rosie, what's going on? What are you doing? Why are you packing? Where are you going to? Alex, I've made up my mind to leave your house. Listen, a lot has been happening. I've been hearing a whole lot since I've been here, and I don't want it to be as if I am the one tying you down. No, no time. Oh, I don't want you to live your life the way you should. So I'm, I'm, I'll just leave. No, don't leave. Well, if you leave, then where are you going to go to? You want to go back to your parents' house? Is that what you want? I'll definitely not go back to my parents because they already disowned me. My faith will pull me through. I'll find a way and fix my life. It's just me. I can take care of myself. Don't worry about me, please. Rosie, Rosie. This is my house, okay? I make the rules. What I say goes, okay? And you're staying, please, please. And you just lost the baby now. You can't just go now. The more reason I should go. No. The more reason I can't stay. No, stop, stop, stop. Don't, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Please, I beg you. Just put yourself back in the wardrobe, please, 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 please. 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 Huh? This is not necessary, please. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> God, please. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know if Chief is waiting for me to get pregnant before he can do something on my head. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Anyway. What are you thinking? It might be God punishing you for maltreating that poor innocent girl in the previous house. Maybe that's why you could not get pregnant. You're very stupid. If I must be out of your mind, you're mad. I know why I'm saying this. Because I don't want the God to blame me as well. Because me, I want to have my own children. God will definitely blame you. Because you have been the one advising me to maltreat that poor girl. If the reason why I have not gotten pregnant is as a result of maltreating that poor girl, please forgive me. I really need my own child. Please, God, forgive me for what I did. I've seen the way I dealt with that Ufu that has been parading herself with my man. The other day I met them. I went to confront my man. She came and interrupted me. Hey! Telling me that I should leave her man alone. Imagine. I gave her the beating of her life. I resetted her brain. Men. Mm. Men. They are unpredictable. Their heart is filled with evil and wickedness. <laughs> huh. Babe, do you know the striking thing? Steve denied me in front of that fool, claiming to be Daniel and not Steve again. That is why I now believe that girl that came to the house the other day. That girl that he denied. That girl was right after all. Anyway, the one you dealt with, I'm sure she's um, she has learned her lesson. <laughs> she has learned her lesson from money with the books. Mm. <laughs> I dealt with her. <laughs> uh, I poured the whole venom on her. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you know you again? Babe, yeah. I have to go and look for that kill. Okay, what do you want? What do you want to do with that? I need to team up with that girl to deal with that fool. Babe, I'm solidly behind you. He met the wrong person. The wrong person. My name is Monica. Money with the boobs. Uh -huh. Ha! 
No, babe, I'm solidly behind you. Hmm. Okay? My daughter. <laughs> I can see that you are handling everything in this chamber very well. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Father. I'm impressed by your effort. But there is one thing left. Father, I know exactly where your child is. So good. And I'm working on it. Trust me. Jennifer. As you can see, your father is no longer getting younger. I need a grandchild. Father, I know. But like I said, I am seriously working on it. Jennifer, you know very well that all I have labored is for you. And you need to choose a man by your side to enjoy it with. Look, Father, I understand everything you say. And I know how you feel. But I just want you to know that you are not dying anytime soon. Nobody can tell. I know, Father, but you are not dying. I still need you alive. Okay, what if I tell you that your son in love to be what's in this company? Seriously? Yes, I am serious, Father. <laughs> That young man must be a lucky person. Who could that be, if I may ask? Barista Alex. Barista Alex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jennifer, are you pulling my legs? Father, I am damn serious. I'm serious. It's Alex. Which means you make a nice choice. Thank you, Father. Alex is the smartest lawyer we have in this chamber. That's good. That's good. Now you see the reason why I said you should keep me time to work on it. So tell me, Father, are you now happy? And um, <laughs> a bit till I see it happen. Okay, I promise you, you will see. Good. <laughs> Immediately I see it happen, I give hundred percent of mine. I told my father about you. About us. And he was so excited. Hmm. He also willed all his properties to me. And babe, I really want to enjoy all of these things with you. See, I appreciate your actions towards me, you know? I mean, if I said I didn't have feelings for you, that would be a lie. It's just... I want things to happen organically, you know? I know, and I understand. But Alex, that girl in your house is a total distraction. She's really coming between us. I'm surprised you can't see all of those things. She's meant to leave, right? After giving birth. But she's still in your house. Yeah. Babe, doing what exactly? She lost her child. She's going through a lot right now, you know? I mean, she needs time to heal. Just put yourself in her shoes, huh? Think about it. Okay. It's fine. I just want you to know that I'm bothered about it. That's we bothered. Okay, I'm promising you, don't worry about that at all. Okay? It's just, I want things to happen organically. Okay? But I promise you, trust me, it's nothing to worry about. It's fine. All right. I can't believe that Jennifer loves me so much to the extent that she's discussing with her father, Justin Sushendi. He's the one that owns the chambers that work there. Wow. You, you have to hasten up and marry her, knowing fully where she came from a wealthy home. And you have a lot to gain. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I just need some time, you know. You really need it, I'm telling you. Yeah. I was, um... Wow. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Hi, Jerry. Pretty, you're looking very joyful. Thank you. 
Where hey. are you going looking so exquisite? I'm going for an interview. Oh, yeah? You're definitely getting the job. You know? <laughs> I just wish you luck. You know, and have fun. Be careful, okay? Thank you. It's alright. Alright, bye. It's alright. So, yeah. with the good news. Thank you. My God. She's very beautiful. <laughs> and I can see why you're still keeping her back. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that, bro. Yeah. She's responsible. And she's the perfect wife material, bro. I'm telling you. I mean, the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. It's not just about money. You yeah. know, there's certain things money can buy. I, I see. I reason with you. I mean, you're happy that matters. Yeah, man. And to crown it all, she doesn't disturb me. No unnecessary drama. No unnecessary fights. No unnecessary nonsense. Do you get me? Yeah. I mean... Mm. Well, it's all right, but one thing. You need to marry her first. Before another eye sees her, you know what I mean? Oh, marry, 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 marry. <laughs> you did it, man. Nah, you know, Carla, you go there single forever. No, 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 she knows what she wants, you know, she's not cheap. Uh, she, knows, uh, she knows what she wants, but she's not cheap. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Guy, you needed to have seen the drama Monica put up the other day. Which happened? <laughs> As we were coming out from the supermarket, Monica confronted me and I denied her as usual. You know the game now. Good. Along the line, Jane interrupted her. And they began to fight. The fight was so serious that I had to drive off. Man, this is serious. Even to the extent of fighting Jane on the road, my guy has no danger. Has no danger. And trust me, that woman will fight back. Mm. You know? Something in me tells me that Monica has a hand in Dev's death. But I assure you, if she does, she will pay dearly for it. Because right now, the police are walking around the clock to fish out the murderers. Don't worry. The murderers will be caught. And they will pay for it. Well, let's see and let's watch and see what happens. Just wondering why you never called me. I gave you my number. You didn't call me. Thank God I met you again today. I'm so sorry, my dear. I was going through a lot as of then. It's okay. Well, it's now I believe everything you were saying the other day. Everything I was saying. Concerning what? Concerning Steve. Oh, Frank. Steve or whatever. Well, I told you, but you never believed me. Rather, you threw me out. It's okay. I threw you out because I did not understand anything. But now it's obvious to me that that guy is something else. He is with another lady now, bearing Daniel as his name. <laughs> The whole thing is quite confusing because the last time I went to see his mother, the mother took me to a grave where she claimed her son was buried. Come. Oh. You have been to his village? Yes, he took me to the village to see the mom. Several times. Hold on. What is the name of his village? It's from Ako village. Ako. The same place he took me to see his mother. Oh, you you've been there too. Come, my sweetheart, please. We need to team up so that we will now go to that place to know actually the person we are dealing with. Okay, like I said, I was coming from the interview when I met you, and. Thank God I got the job, so I'll be very, very busy. So if you want us to go anywhere, just let me know on time so I can check and then get back to you. 
How can we do just that? We need to know the person we're dealing with. Please, we need to go to that him. Point. I already know him. And I'm okay. But don't worry, just to satisfy your conscience, you will go. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm grateful. Anyway, congratulations on your new job. Thank you so much. So you just drop it by the junction and we'll go. Okay. I gave you everything and you took everything away Losing my mind, don't think I can do this no more It's time to let you go How come did I put myself in here? Someone tell me now You were a cheat I just can't take it in Oh boy, you know You don't deserve a bit of me Everything you promised to me were all You're welcome, my dear. <laughs> How was your day? It was beautiful. Oh, I can see. And I got the job, really? Wow, congratulations, my dear. I knew God had a unique plan for you. Now it's showing itself. It's in play right now. Congratulations once again, my dear. Congrats. Um, I... Hello. Uh, that's me. I had a good news. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Uh, by the way, you look good. No, I'm good. I'll continue when you're done. Hey, sis, what's up? Alex. There's something I would like to discuss with you. Okay. Alex, I want to wash my hands off your marital issues. You're my brother and you're a man. You have the right to make your own choice. Anyone you choose between Rosie and Jennifer is okay by me. You have my support. I thought about it. I am a woman. And I am equally in a man's house, praying he marries me. I don't want to be a stumbling block to anyone. I want to state it clear, so God can see my heart. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Did they... <laughs> Why are you saying this? Did they attack you in the dream or something? Or uh, is there anything I should know? Is one of them a witch? Because, like, I'm shocked by the sudden change of mind. Like, what happened? Alex, no one confronted me. I'm a woman, and I'm praying for God to give me children. I don't want any of these girls saying bad prayers against me. Okay. I've heard you. And, um... If you finally make up your mind to settle with Jennifer, it would be nice because her father has weed all his properties to her. And it means you're going to be the managing director of the chamber. She's ready to enjoy all the world with you. On the other hand, if it's Rosie you want, it's also okay by me. You have my support. You're my brother and I want the best for you. You know, this is the best thing you've ever said to me. Thank you so much. You know, and it's beautiful to see that your heart is beginning to soften. You know, you're beginning to become more human for, for the lack of a better term. You know, you're, beco you're becoming more human. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's why I came. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. But none of them attacked you in the gym, Abby. Okay. You haven't been seeing no. stuff in the mirror. Alex, nobody. No. Damn. Okay, I need to be sure in case I can't pick the wrong one now. <laughs> Babe! Hey! I was able to meet that girl as she was coming back from a meeting. 
Sorry, which girl? The girl I told you the other day that I gave my card. That refers to Steve as Frank. Oh, the one Steve denied. Yes. What happened? We got the place and we had a plan to go to Steve's village to see if we are still talking about the same place. Wonderful idea. Yeah? That was not all. She mentioned Steve's village. And guess what? And it happens to be the same village Steve took me to go and see his mother. She said she went with Steve's picture to see the mother to complain to her. The woman took her to a graveside where Steve was buried. Oh no. Why are men polygamous in nature? My dear friend, it's not all about polygamy this time around. I need to know if I'm really dealing with the ghost. I have to see to the end of this matter. Monica. <laughs> Babe, you know what? Like I always tell you, I am solemnly behind you. Fire on, babe. Just go ahead. Fire on. Really? Steve cannot play with me. I'm going to It's not possible. You look so beautiful right now. Thank you. How can you be so beautiful and talented and smart and hardworking and diligent and... It's God. Uh -uh. It's God. We toast to God. We toast to more jobs. Amen. We toast to long life. Yeah. And prosperity. Yeah. A lot of money. A lot of prosperity. Yeah, very important. It's very, very important. Let's, let's click that one. <laughs> <laughs> we have to drink after that. We have to drink. Yeah. <laughs> you are amazing. Babes, yes, baby. I'm really, really excited. I can't even contain my joy right now. I can see it in your face. Mm. The latest EFCC attorney. That's me. Is this is if this is going to do this now? <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's definitely it's just, not. It's just God and you, baby. I don't even know how to begin to thank you for everything you've done for me. I wonder how life would have been without your love, support, concern, everything. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. You're welcome, baby. You're God sent to me. Uh, uh, I could say everything you just said about me. But you're more than that. Okay? You're, you're amazing, honestly. I've said that like three times. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> eh? You put me in awe. You're awesome. <laughs> eh? It's not easy. Yeah. Latest EFCC lawyer. <laughs> I can see, sir. Official. So you do the dish in your Man, system. don't worry, don't worry. Too plenty. <laughs> and there's more in there. There's you there's still more like this in sure, the pot. Sure, Just like this. Exactly. That's what we want. No problem, sir. Right. We're good with this. What's wrong with this? Hey, baby, get fat today. Tomorrow you lose weight. <laughs> eh? <laughs> The one and only. Yeah, babes. The man, one of, I was going to say Africa. The man, one of the world. <laughs> Go to. Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Eh? Do you want me to pour you more? Okay, yeah, finish I'm fine, Let's take it one step at a time. You seem to be more excited than I am. Babe, you make me proud. Yeah. Eh? We should, we should, we should eat. I know that feeling. Eh? I know that Let me feeling. eat this one then I'll eat this one later. But babe, you get bad mouth too. Mm. I didn't like the way you spoke to me the other day I came to your house. Mimi, you're my friend. I just have to tell you the truth. You know what? Sometimes when things happen, you just have to read meanings to it. I mean, how can you be sleeping with two different men and you're not getting pregnant? So, I, you know I'm a woman. I wouldn't want any woman, anybody to pray bad prayers for me. Because I want to have my own children too. Anyways, I thought about what you told me. So I visited my brother and I told him that I have washed my hands off anything that concerns that girl. Oh, thank God. Well, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I know if I had been soft with you, you wouldn't have been moved to make amends. God will see your strength anyway. Mm. I missed you. Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, what is it in you? What 
happened? Talk to me. Father, please, just forget about it. It's not something you understand. No, my dear. I must know about it. I am your father. Why not confide in me? Father, it's Alex. Alex? It's Alex. Daddy, you know how much I love Alex, right? You know how much I care about him. Alex is just acting as if I don't exist. He doesn't give a fuck about me. He doesn't care, Daddy. I don't know what to do. There is this lady that stays with her. I don't know what she's doing in Alex's house. This lady has become a total distraction to us. He doesn't even let Alex concentrate on us. Father, I'm just... I'm just helpless. I'm just so helpless. I don't know what Is to that do. All? Is that all? <laughs> My dear, that is not a problem. Relax. That, that is, this is enough problem. Enjoy yourself. Okay? Cheer, cheer yourself up. I will talk to Alex. Don't worry yourself. Relax. I will handle it back. You know, you know I love you so much. And I'm ready to sacrifice anything just to make you happy. Father, I would be so grateful if you can talk to Alex for oh, me. Oh, my dear daughter, I will. I will. Just Thank to make you, you happy. You are the only thing I have. Eh? What tells you I'm done for? So, my dear, cheer up. Relax, my daughter. Thank you, so, Father. Thanks. Good day, sir. You sent for me. Yes, I did, Alex. I went to my daughter's office today. And I wasn't comfortable with her mood. But after our conversation, I found out that two of you are having an affair. She made mention of a lady in your house. That is distracting your attention from her. Alex, do you know that my daughter loves you? I do, sir. Uh, and I love her too, but it's just... And I'm happy to hear that. Alex, I want you to know this. Jennifer is my only child. And I am ready to do anything for her. But my companies properties, my chamber, mention the rest, belongs to her. And any man she will boldly send to me as her husband. So you should count yourself lucky because you are the only man she has been ringing his name in my ear. Yeah, sir, I've heard uh, what you have to say. I just, I need some time to think. Um, yeah. Better be a man. Because you're a matured man. You can make this show of yourself. Thank you, sir.
We really have to be fast so I can get back to the office before the close of work today. I took permission to be here and as you can see I'm still on my solicitor where my man, he does not want to hear me call the name Frank again. He doesn't like it. So I have to be very careful. This is the same place we came last month. Yes. Same house he brought me to. And that is the mother washing over there. Oh my God. This is the same woman he introduced to me as his mother. Same woman showed me a grave where she claimed Frank was buried. <sighs> so, we are both talking about the same person. Exactly. One that shall never end. I was here four months ago when I was pregnant. Are you not Rosie? Yes, I'm Rosie. The young lady my late son brought home the other time. Late? Yes. No, Mama. <sighs> Don't tell me that Frank is really dead because I saw someone that looks exactly like him in the city. And that is why I've come to confirm if he's truly dead or not. Like Frank? Yes. My daughter, look at where they buried my son. My only son. No. No. My full years are full, so. No. No. You and I were like fireworks. What we had to share was real. You took the very part of me. Now you left me in this lonely world. I told a man to be, and I saw the perfect we Didn't know that this world of ours will soon be gone. Hi. Frank. Oh. Frank, you made me go. Oh. 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 to say he did a lot to me this guy is the reason i am suffering today he is the reason my parents disowned me <sighs> he came into my life lied that he loved me ate my money got me pregnant and then disappeared into the air the next thing i heard was that he was dead and then i kept seeing him when each time i approached him he kept lying to me that he wasn't the person it's okay my dear we're, we're in this together we have to fix a debt to pay him a visit. Okay, that's fine, but uh, you have to let me know in time so I can complicate because of my work schedule. Yeah, it's okay. <sighs> Let's just go.
Uh, You're welcome, sir. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Is Rosie back? No, she's not. All right, I'll be in my room. All right, sir. Dinner will soon be ready. Good, good. This is really serious. For Justice Uchendu to call me because of his daughter. Making me promises. Talking about making me the MD and oh my god, he has so many businesses. If I marry Jennifer, it's to be advantageous for me. But then there's Rosie. Rosie is exactly every single thing I want in a woman. She's industrious. She's beautiful. She's responsible. She has principles, high morals. She's just the perfect wife material. Man, this is a big challenge. Anyways, let me call Jennifer and see where she's at. This is what I don't like about this girl. She never picks up the phone. Like, why are you here? Yo, with your phone all the time now. What's this now? What's this? What's all this? If I call two times, I love her. If I don't call one, if I call once, I don't care. All these mind games. What's this now? Pick. why you wanted to twist my face to the back last night. <sighs> Baby, you almost finished me. What was that? And where did you get that strength from? Baby, look. When a lady is so sweet down there, you one can't seem to have enough of it. You want to want to go back there over and over again. Listen, what is the secret? Tell me. Okay, fine. <laughs> I have to go now. Huh? I need to head back to the office. Baby, next one, I will give you 360 degrees. In fact, you're going to fall from bed. Back it. <laughs> okay, I've heard that. This is your work, it's really telling me. Can't you just take leave and give me all of your time? I can't this, seem to have enough of you. This work is very important to me. I have to go. I understand, but <laughs> baby. Bella, I really messed up. Alex was calling while I was with my ex. I couldn't speak. But babes, you really messed up this time around. I mean, you should have concentrated on one person, knowing fully well how your relationship with Alex is shaking. I know, I know, babe. But what would you have me do? I'm a human being. I've got blood and water flowing in my veins, babe. I need to come on. I have to manage my feelings. Alex is never available, and it's because of that pregnant girl in his house. Come on. <laughs> but it'll be fire, who do? I can't quench this fire inside of me, you know. Have you quenched the fire? Oh, yes, I have. I have, and I feel so happy. You won't understand. Hey, Larry almost killed me. Oh, what are you saying, my son? After he's not paying me tired. What? Jenny. You don't understand. Jenny. Hey, God, I feel so better. At least, I hope I'm going to receive some better vitamins, you know. It's my friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one day. Oh, my goodness. 
I find out that you are a thief and you are a player. Oh, spare me that. You dare not come to my house and insult me after all you did. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Well, I thought you were claiming that you don't know me. Right? Well, I went to your village with this lady. The same lady you claim and denied. But it's clear to me now that she was right after all. You told her your name is Frank. And you told me your name is, is Steve. And now you are answering Daniel. And to crown it all, you set me up with your, with your friend Dave. And claimed you traveled. Steve, or whatever your name is. I need all my money, all the money I spent on you and your poor wretched mother. Look, woman, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know, I don't know who she is. Steve, Frank, Daniel, <laughs> or whatever you call yourself, oh. it is not of my business. It is not. Because it has dawned on me that you're not just evil, wicked, a criminal, but also you are an evil personified human being. I don't even want to talk about the fact that my father gave you the sum of 10 million naira when you said we are preparing our marriage. I don't want to talk about all of those things. But I want you to know something. I gave birth. The child I have with you. The child you put inside me. Unfortunately, I lost my baby. But I want you to know something, Frank. If you do not provide every of the dime I spent on you, every of the dime, I swear with my life, you will get it out from me. Excuse me. Baby. I hope you know what I'm thinking. These two ladies just say the same thing about you. Are you still here seeing nothing? No, no, no. Baby, listen. I will explain everything to you. As for this woman here, yes, we were in a relationship, but she cheated on me, and that was the end of our relationship. Oh. And as for the lady that left, <laughs> I have never met her. This whole thing is strange to me. Oh. You know me. Come, you're still denying me after setting me up with your friend Dave, right? But was that enough for you to cheat on me? Was it? As for you, I have nothing to tell you. Very soon, it will be clear to you. He will finish eating your money and dump you, and your eyes will open. Hmm. Frank, I need my money. Frank, Steve, Dave, I need my money. Baby, I'm coming. Monica, hey! Frank, me! Me, Frank! Oh, uh, don't worry. You will soon hear from me. Hey, <laughs> you will soon hear from Monica. It's Monica. Hey, Frank. Uh -huh. All right. It's okay. You will have no peace for making me homeless. You claimed that you loved me, yet you got me pregnant, abandoned me and ran away with my money. Oh, Frank, you will suffer. My God will punish you for every single thing you did, you did, you did to me. God will punish you. God will punish you. Hey, 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 what's going on? Oh, why are you like this? What's going on? Alex, you're a very good man. As a matter of fact, you are God sent to me. It's okay. No, stop, stop. We can't do this, okay? I'm not sure you want this. When you get better, you're going to be mad that you did it. No! I know exactly what I want, and I'm not going to regret anything. We went to Frank's house. I mean, I went to his house with one of the sugar mummies I met at his place the other day. Mm. And I'm getting there. We found out that we were actually talking about the same person. 
And then he has another sugar mommy that he's dating right now. He has also changed his name. That guy is nothing but a thief, a player, evil personified human being. He made my parents disown me. He dealt with me and then ran away with my money. He will never go scot-free. No. I will fish him out and deal with him. Yes. Listen, babe, that guy has bitten off more than he can chew. Okay, he will definitely pay for his actions. He has to. He will. Look, I don't like the way you reacted the other day at my house. Shouting and spilling all the beans like a mad dog. Why would you do me like that? Huh? After all the things we've been through, and I was even giving you signs to keep quiet. But you kept on going and going. I don't understand. What you did to that girl is not good at all. Why would you eat her money, get her pregnant, and deny her? Why? Look. I am here because I want us to make peace. I don't want to ferment any trouble. So I'm not interested in talking about any girl. What do you take me for? Hmm? Do I look like a baby that you can be wash? Never. I cannot make up with a thief and a liar like you. Never. All I need is my money. All the money I spent on you. Give it to me, including the one I spent on your wretched mother. Baby, baby, what are you talking about? Baby, what are you talking about? Look, I said I came here for us to make up and you're talking about money. Why are you talking like this? Mm. I have missed you. I, look, I want things to get back the way they used to be because I've missed you around. I want you back in my life. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm here. Then if, you want me, trouble. if you want me back, it will be on one condition. Condition? What condition? You have to chase that old cargo in your house. That's number one. Then number two, you go and pay my bride price immediately. And then you find a way and settle that girl that you got pregnant. <sighs> okay. I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. It's all right. You're still looking beautiful. Really missed you, you know? Okay. Sweetheart. Yes? I have good news for us. Wow. Shit. I got a mouth-watering job in the United States that will last for two years. Wow. So, I will be traveling very soon. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Two years? Yes, two years. It's big. No, that's sudden. And I'll be going with you, right? No, 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 baby. It's not necessary. You see, I need to go alone. But I promise you, as soon as I get back, I'll marry you. Oh. You know? mm. And you know I need to make more money for us. I understand. I'm going to miss you when you travel. How am I, be, how am I even going to cope? I'm going to miss you more. Mm? I don't even know how I'll survive without you, but I'll cope. You know what? I'll make sure I call you every day. You do? Okay. Yes, of course. And then all your wedding materials, like your gown, I'll buy everything from the US. Perfect. Perfect, right? <laughs> I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you more. <laughs> I'll miss you more. <laughs> My baby. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> mm. Bro, you needed to see how Rosie pulled me in for a kiss. Bro, <laughs> I felt like I was on top of the world, honestly, you know, but I just, 
I had to stop her, you know, because like, yeah, I had to stop her. I had to stop her, you know, because she was feeling vulnerable. She didn't, I don't know if that's what she really wanted then, you know, because she was feeling down. She got some bad news and I wasn't going to take advantage of her situation, you know. I don't get it. How do you mean? Um, so it's, well, it's a long, it's a long, weird story, bro. I don't even understand. Apparently her ex-boyfriend, mm. the one that's supposed to be dead, it's not dead again. And then she met one woman that one older woman that's the guy used to be the guy sugar mommy or something. And they went to the village or something. But I did, she was just going through a lot. You know, she was vulnerable. She was in a low moment. She was emotional. I wasn't going to take advantage of her in that situation. That would be like predator behavior, you know, and this is somebody I care for. So I couldn't do it. My guy, I don't get you at times. A girl is offering you a free hug and a free kiss. You're telling me here you are caring about emotional status. Yes, because I love her. I love oh her. I'm not just going to, you know, make any sexual advances or anything crazy. You know, I'm in love with the girl. I need to show her that it's not just her body I want. Because the body is crazy. We all know. But it's not just that. You see, my guy, if I wear you, I don't land that girl with the with But if you say so, do right, Pastor Alex. But count me out of it. It can never be me. It can't be you, no. She didn't pick you. Like I didn't pick you. Yeah, I think I rush somewhere. <laughs> Young man, since you joined my company as the manager, you have been losing money. And your effort is nothing to write home about. You even went as far as using my company's name for an illegal business. And now the EFCC has written a letter for fraud. And you know what that means? Chief, I'm very sorry about that. I'm trying my best to cover it up. You better do. Because if anything happens to my company, I swear you will not find it easy with me. I promise you that. What rubbish? Hello. Hello. Welcome back to your home. Wow. Please relax and make yourself comfortable. Mm. Ah, I've missed you. It is good to be back home. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We have missed you, honestly. Sure you do? Yes, I have missed you, you know. <laughs> Well, let me go inside and check my kitchen and see the situation that old Kago kept it. I need to rearrange my house. <laughs> of course, you can do anything you want. This is your house. Yeah. I mean, you are the only madame in this house. The only person. Are you sure? Yes, baby. Please. You know how it used to be. You started. Uh, all right. Let me go inside. Uh, you are the only madam of this house. I can't equate you with any other person. Excited before. You know, Auntie, I just had to put everything behind me and move on with my life. I'm definitely not going to kill myself. Exactly. Exactly, my dear. And um, seeing you like this makes me happy. I am really very excited. What would you have me do, Aunt? 
knowing full well that the idiot, the bastard I've been preserving myself for, has been alive. And then when he met me, he, he pretended that he doesn't even know me. In fact, he, he denied knowing who I am. So I don't have a choice. I'd start pouring out the love I have for Alex. I don't have to hide it anymore. It's just that I'm a very, very disciplined person. I don't double date. I love to do the right thing. So I needed to be sure if what I was doing was right. But now I am definitely sure. And I'm following the path I've chosen. Rosie, do you know I can write a book on decency just by listening to you? You are the most decent girl I have ever set my eyes on. And that is not an exaggeration. Believe me, you deserve all the happiness in the world. And hey, one more thing you need to know. The love you have for Alex, it is reciprocated. I know. I know it feels good. The same way for you. I know. Okay, let me just quickly hurry up before he gets back. Yes, while I back in the euphoria of knowing that I am on leave today. Yes, I'm you are. I'm going to sit back and relax and eat the food when it's ready. Definitely. Don't worry yourself, I'll do everything. I can see you're very busy. Yes. Look, I don't like the way that boy is handling the company. Since he became the manager, it has been from one loss to another. Even to the extent of using my company's name for an illegal business. And now the EFCs are involved. Look, if anything happens to my company, he will pay because I labored so hard for everything I have today. I remember you had one that brought him. Baby, I'm sorry. I never knew he would be this desperate. Gosh. Don't worry. I'll talk some sense into his head. Please do. Because I'm not only going to fire him, I will make sure he pays for all the damages he caused me before going to jail. Oh, baby. Baby. Please. No, 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 no. I don't like it when people misuse opportunity. It's okay now. I'll, I'll handle the situation, I promise. Okay. Young lady, I have come to see you. And I'm very much aware that my baby, Alex, is in home. This is a check of five million naira. Take it. Get yourself an apartment and leave my man alone. I wouldn't want to come back here and sing this again. I'm sure in your entire miserable life you haven't seen such amount of money. Have it. Aren't you stupid? Look at this insane entity. What is wrong with you? So you think I haven't given someone this cheap amount of money? What is five million? What do you think of yourself? You're so proud. What nonsense. In your widest dream. Yet you're still in my fiance's house, eating his money and food, forgetting the fact that I pay her. <laughs> I am his boss. And the same money you were busy enjoying is from me. That's the problem you have. I'm sure this is how you talk to a man you claim you love. I pay him. You have no sense. Now listen, take your miserable money to yourself. Use it to go and help your frustrated life. Because I see you are not sane. Aradroy, go and take care of yourself. You're not only a bloody liar, but also a witch. <laughs> what kind of human being are you? I've been asking you. Do you have anything to do with Alex? Are you two together? You kept saying no. For what exactly? That is because I owe you no explanation, bitch. And who do you think you are to ask me stupid questions? Listen, I am not answerable to you. You don't have any right to ask me any stupid question. I don't get it. And yes, I think it's high time I made it clear to you. Alex and I are in love with each other. He loves me as much as I love him. 
and I'm not ready to share him with anybody, not even a thing like you. A <laughs> desperate thing like you, mark my word. Take a chill pill. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm just wondering where the spirit of boldness comes. <laughs> I've always been bold anyways. I've always been bold. And I need you to know something. You don't have any right, any power to ask me to leave this house. You can't do it. You will never, you can never think of it. Only Alice can. And of course I know he won't. All I can see here is stubbornness. And I also say that you are ready, fully ready to face me. Very ready, yo. Very, very ready to face you. Because you don't have respect. You're just so desperate. Okay. You're desperate pushing yourself on a man that does not want it you. It is fine. Yes. Watch and see. I shall see nothing. Take your miserable life check and frustrated self out of this house. Never return, oh. Don't come back. Uh -uh. How can a woman be running over a man like that? You come here to, to shun me, to give me cheap money. You think, I, you think I'm broke or I'm hungry? Now, where did that courage come from, Rosie? Hmm? Ah, I couldn't help overhearing the both of you. Listen, any dog that barks does not bite, okay? So don't be perturbed by her silly threats, okay? Don't let it scare you. Hmm? Oh, she can't even scare me. The guy is so rude, trying to give me money as if I'm hungry or what. Now, that's the spirit. That's the spirit I've been talking about. Always stay strong. Keep it on. Thank you, man. Thank okay. you. Don't mind them. Rubbish. Oh, Jennifer came to my house today to attack Rosie and they nearly fought. Like, what's that? The disrespect. She didn't even have regard for me. She came to my house to fight a guest of mine. And all this, she's doing all this because I'm working in her father's chambers. That's why she's doing this thing. Man. Because if I wasn't working for them, she wouldn't have the balls to do that. This is very serious. So they said, I'm coming to your house to fight Rosie, bro. Like, who, what kind of class? Like, I don't even understand. Like, what's that? It's well. As you can see, her father is gone. What's what? this? Oh my god. What is this now? <laughs> yeah? I can't you see I'm tired of this thing. I don't need I do not need this energy in my life right now. I don't. I don't. See, it's my guy. You need to own up as a guy. I know you now. You're a brave man. See? To stop. If you love Rosie, you go for her. Just as in, choose one person straight. I mean, you go for her and pull out of that uh, Jeffers Father's chambers and look for a job. I, I, I swear. And I remember you told me about your aviation aviation studies. The whole time you become a pilot and this whole shit will end. So that's my suggestion. I appreciate your concern. You know, I appreciate your concern. My brother, just, just try it, bro. I enjoy this. No, I appreciate, I appreciate it. It's alright. <laughs> it's like us little time, little time. Yeah. But I need to run out now. Yes, there. Oh. Sorry, I dragged you out. No problem. What is it? I love Alex. I love Alex so much and no one would ever stop the love I have for him. Not even his sister Mimi. She can't stop it. No one can. And that's why I'm making it very obvious for all of them to know. I can't hide it anymore. I appreciate the fact that now you are saying what I've been telling you all this while. And I'm very happy for your boldness now. Believe me. No matter what they do, you love Alex and Alex loves you. That is the most important thing. And I believe God will see the boot of you through. Amen. Amen. Hello? 
how are you? What? You still went back to his house after everything he did to you? Okay, that's fine. I believe very soon that idiot will have to pay for every single thing he did to us. I'll call you later. Is everything all right? It's, it's Frank. Oh. So, Auntie, I just thought it wise to let you know. And don't worry. Any decision you take, I am solidly behind you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was doing something in the kitchen. Okay. Babes, do you know Austin went to the extent of using Chief Benz's company's name for his illegal business? Now the EFCC are after Chief. They are investigating the matter. Chief is highly mad at him. Are you for real? That guy has beaten more than he can chew and you cost it. How? Is it a crime to use this opportunity to help my boyfriend? This is not the time of helping your boyfriend or your lover. For crying out loud, if you know what is good for you, tell Chief to fire that guy immediately before he spoils your marriage. You have a good idea. But he threatened to disclose our affairs to Chief if he gets fired. My dear, even if he tells Chief, Chief that I know will not believe him. So my dear, do the needful. Do the needful before it ends in regrets. Hungry. Oh, yes, really. Oh, traffic today was terrible. Yeah. You can eat now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just eat. Hope you'll join me. Yes, I will. Uh. Hello? Mama, is there a problem? Uh, uh, right now? Mama, tell me now, what is it? Talk to me, no? Uh, okay, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming there right away. You will see me now. Uh, baby, yes. my mother, I think there's a problem. My mother is sounding so bad on the phone. She needs to see me right now. Baby, you need to... Eat. Honey, I just have to rush because she's sounding very serious. Eat. Let me just rush and then, and then go and see. anything to you talk to, talk to me please talk to me who what what happened i was attacked by some boys when i was coming down in the market they said i should stay away from you and i know this will be it won't be far from jennifer it's okay it's okay i'm going to get to the roots of this i promise you it's okay please don't cry yeah i'll get to the roots of this i promise you i Listen, promise you i'll tell you something now they can do whatever they want to do they're not going to do anything they cannot even stop me from loving you. I love you so much, Alex. The impact you have made in my life, it, it's not easy for me to just let you go like that. They can't stop me from being with you. Nobody's going to stop us. It's okay. It's okay. We need to freshen up, okay? It's okay. I'll get to the roots of this, I promise you. Okay. Please don't feel bad about it, yeah? I'm so sorry it's my fault. 
I apologize. What seems to be the problem? Why are you looking moody? I was attacked earlier today. What? By some stupid boys. I don't know whether to call them hoodlums. I don't know. They, they attacked me. I mean, it was only God that saved me because I didn't know what would have happened. Really? That I should stay away from Alex. And eh? uh, that they would deal with me if I come close to him again. And I'm sure he's not far from that girl, Jennifer. What is this now? Eh? What is it? I don't know. I'm so sorry about that, my dear. I'm sorry. What is all this once now? Can't they just leave you alone? Have you, you been through enough already? Eh? Have you told Alex about this? Yes, I have. I've told him and he said I shouldn't bother myself, that he would get to the root of it. But the thing is that they cannot stop the love I have for Alex. I've grown to love him and no one can just, you know, tell me to leave him just like that and I would just do it. It's not done. This is a man that has sacrificed a lot for me. I won't just go, 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 go off like that because of their cheap threats. Mm. That is the spirit of love talking through you. I see someone is deeply in love here. I really do love Alex. But I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared about what, my dear? That he might not reciprocate the love. You know, there are a lot of women after him. I know how you feel. But listen. It is only a man who truly loves a woman that will wait and bid his time. He will not try to take advantage of you when you're vulnerable. You see all these loafers and the rest of them, they are the ones who want to bounce on you when they see that you're at a very low ebb. At this point, any man who loves a woman would want to keep her, not just to hit and run away. No. That's why he's taking his time. Just be patient with him, okay? Right. Go freshen up and catch your rest. My guy, my guy. How's it been with you? Man, it's been good, 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 good. Though mama was sick, so I went to see. But she's better now. Oh, my God. Yeah, and that reminds me. Monica is back to the house. Monica? Why did you bring her back? Man, I had to. I had to bring her just to calm down the heat. Could you imagine she came here the other day and was shouting like a mad dog? Threatening all sorts of things. So I just brought her in. But don't worry, I have a perfect plan. Very soon, I will discard her and bring in another movie that is rich with cash. I'm already working on it though. Bad guy! <laughs> Sharp guy! You know what I like you? You're very, very smart. I will leave that uh, nothing to happen. Look, we're in this together. Just take my own. I have to be smart. Hmm? That's what I want you to teach you. You're not serious. Why did you invite me here? You think you are smart, right? Eh? But I promise you one thing. You will never get away with this. We told Chief to sack the company. I'm going to tell Chief about our affair. You will do no such thing. You should be grateful for the things I did for you. Did I do anything wrong by making you the manager of the company? You messed up. You messed up everything by doing illegal business with Chief Company's name. Austin, I love Chief so much. Chief is everything to me. He is my life. And I wouldn't want anything to come in between us. You wouldn't want anything to come in between you and Chief. So what happened to me? I have lost my job. What is my gain now? What is now my gain? Look, I'm not that bad. I'll be sending you money every month for your upkeep. Nice. I hope you keep to your promise. 
I'll do anything for you. Come. Come and make me happy as usual. Girl, do you know that I overheard Steve telling his friend Brian that he brought me back to the house to quench the fire and to quench the situation? Aye. That soon he will kick me out of his house. Me. Steve, I told you that guy is a beast. That guy is an animal. Anyway, you know the reason you were there. Just execute the plan and let's put a stop to this drama. I am not a baby girl. Yeah? By the time I finish my work on this young man, in his next world, eh? he will never toil with a woman. That's the spirit. Come man. on. That's the spirit. What kind of a beast is that? Not be money again. Hi. Money with the books. Money with the books. Now be money. Uh, move, move it. Now me be Don't shake. Monica. I say move on. <laughs> You called? I did. Hmm. Where's Jennifer? She won't be coming to work today. I'm not surprised. She knows exactly what she did. That's why she skipped work today. She's, she's... I'm not I expect her to skip work today. That's what I expect. What has she done this time around? She sent dogs to attack Rosie. What kind of human being does that? Why would she do that? Huh? That's so mean-spirited. I think she overreacted this time around. But Alex, it's high time you made your decision as a man and put a stop to this mess. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I think I have to stop working here, okay? Because the fact that I'm working for her father, she's using that to get to me. So I need to stop. Because that's the place that the disrespect is coming from. Because I'm working for her father. So I need to quit. Has it gotten to this extent? It's gotten to this extent. I need to do what I have to do to stop the mess. You called it a mess. It's a mess. So I have to stop working here. Yes, I know. But like I said, remember she still loves you. Oh, she loves me. So she shows she loves me by sending thugs to go beat up Rosie. That's how she shows she loves me. Somebody I care about. She knows I care about Rosie. And she wants that person hurt. That's how she shows love, by hurting people I care about. Mm, if we get married now, she'll go and kill my family now to show that she loves me. <laughs> well, Alex, seriously, if you marry my friend, I'll be very happy. This is not a joke. I'm not even trying to be funny. This is why I'm serious. Please, please. She crossed the line. It's too much. Mm. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think. How can she resort to assault? A woman already feels vulnerable, now feels more vulnerable. Rosie feels vulnerable. Oh my god. You know what? I'll call her and talk with her, okay? You know she loves you. I, I beg. That love thing, just I beg. I beg. Please, can you just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'll talk to her, okay? I know you. I saw you the other day with Rosie at your place, I believe. Well, I don't know you and I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly, you have me mistaken for someone else. I'm sure you're the one I met with Rosie. You got her pregnant and you are denying it. You're the one. Hey, look, mister, I am not married yet. I don't know who Rosie is or what her name is. Please stop this embarrassment. As you can see, I was about leaving before you stopped it. So you're still denying it? Huh? You're a shameless man. You're denying it. You think you're smart. When I'm done with you, you see who's smarter. Listen, mister. Listen, do you know I could sue you? Hey, do not touch me. I can sue you for blackmail because I don't know you and I don't know who Rosie is. What's your problem? You're a fool. You go around living a fake life, lying to women, stealing from their purses, so you to get a normal job. Your head, you living a useless life. Get hands on my face. 
We just you can't wait for that keke. Oh. See him, you go. Wait for that keke. Rush home before the keke go go. Idiot. Babes, we're not at the office. What's happening? I wasn't really feeling so good. You sure you were not feeling strong? Because Alex is really angry with you. He said you sent thugs to beat up Rosie. Girl, come on. I need to do the needful. I need to get my man back. Even at that, you overreacted. I mean, what if that girl had died? Oh, that would have been so fantastic. That would have been amazing. So be it. If she had died, so be it. Who cares? Please, you need to really calm down. I understand the pressure, okay? Please, take things really, really easy. She hasn't even seen anything yet. I am so going to give it to that bitch real hot. For God's sake, this girl is really the one confusing Alex here. She's the reason why Alex and I are still unmarried. I just hate her with so much passion. I only advise you as a friend to take things easy. Because Alex is really, really angry with your actions. In fact, he feels so intimidated because he's working for your father. And then you're using the opportunity to get at him. He's not happy about it. Bella, please. Alex is in a case. Just forget about him. I know how to handle him. Don't worry, I'll talk to Alex. It's alright. You know what? Let's just leave him. Come and sleep. I don't like your mood. What's the problem? Well, why should I be happy? Why should I be happy when EFCC have saved letter to my company because of that boy Austin? Why? Baby, you need to cheer up, okay? I have good news for you. I'm pregnant. Ready? Nat. My you know, Gabu in vain. In fact, baby, you have made my day. You have made my day. I now have an heir that will take after me. Mm -hmm. Hey! So I now have Chief Benson Jr. Baby, this calls for celebration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who is there? Agnes! Agnes! Yeah. Come, 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 come. Come! Yes, what do you have in the kitchen? So I have five rice and chicken pepper soup. Go and get all of them. Bring everything. We are celebrating. Hey. You woman, we are celebrating. Hey. Bring all of them. Oh, come here, sir. <laughs> me, 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 me. Doctor, I have told my husband about the pregnancy. He is excited about it. Please, let's try to maintain our standard in case it comes around to verify. That won't be a problem. Just do the need for. <sighs> you don't have a problem with that. I've transferred the sum of 1.5 million naira into your account, Sonest. What have you do? Nice one. Oh, doctor, I'm quite worried. Um, what am I supposed to do? 
From four to five months, my pregnancy is supposed to be growing. Don't worry. I will handle it. All you need now is to be pampered during your pregnancy. After she's dancing, I will take care of it. Thank you, doctor. But don't forget, I don't know you, you don't know me. All right? I don't know you, madam. This is how we eat. I'll send you the money soon, shortly. Yes, do. I'm sorry for my action. I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. At least I really love you. I'm just doing everything humanly possible to get married to you. To the extent of sending thugs to attack Rosie? Why would you do that? What did she ever do to you? Alex, you know that girl has been a total distraction between us. I'm sure you can concur to that. I just felt like teaching her a little lesson to get her eyes off you. You thought teaching her a lesson would take her eyes off me? What if she died? Would you still have me? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I promise this is not going to happen again. Forgive me, please. Alex, I really do love you. Sophie, just don't, just calm down. You don't have to overreact all the time. That, that was a huge overreaction. Come on. I promise it won't happen again. I promise. So if you have forgiven me, why not take back the letter? I'm sorry. All is well. This is a bad woman. Ah. Should I stop going to the farm? No. It won't stop me from going to the farm. I must go to the farm. Hey. Aroma is nice. Madam Tina, I hope my food is ready. Why are you looking at this? Oh, I know, you're a bush girl. You've never seen a beautiful piece like this in your entire life. Anyways, this is an umbrella before you mistake it for a bottle. Were you the one cooking in the kitchen? Yes. Are you, you famished? No. I lost my appetite. Thank <laughs> you. 
Madam, I hello. How are you? I'm fine. I did for my duty post, they perceive this one of your food. But this food they enter my nose. I know they told me to go there for my food. Okay, As our guy in charge, small guy. <laughs> I know you. You love food. But don't worry. You like the way I dish the food for you. Wow. That is why I like you. At least I'm always talking about you. It's not my dad, too much. <laughs> it's too much. I need to tell you about food. That's the reason for this. Cletus, I know it's all about food. Hmm. If I don't eat, I will take get enough energy to work in this house. Wow. Don't you know if I eat better food and chop better meat, I will get enough energy to mm. fight thief mm. at we near this compound. Mm. You don't eat Mr. Fighter. I'm mean, going carry your food. Cletus, you have to carry your food. Why you carry your food? Chase it. Chase it. that I can feed your body to the vulture. Hmm. Die well so that women can rest. Sure you explain no, yourself. No. Police, I did not kill him. Madam, move. Go to the first. We have heard you. When you get to the station, you explain yourself. Please imagine. You're going first. Oh, you are using yeah. an innocent person. You murdered no, my friend. You poisoned him. Poisoned him. If you get to the station, you explain yourself. You have the right to remain silent. Yes. Whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Just move, please. Why is she even talking? I forgot something. No, no, no. Please, please. Please. Move, please. Move, move, officer, please. officer, please. I will take you to the station. Whatever you forgot, you get to please move. Please move. Modra. Just your voice alone. <laughs> your voice alone could melt ice. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm strong. I don't want to stop. Bro. I don't want to stop. I don't you ever. Have to stop. Mm. 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 Wait, hold on. Frank's sugar mommy is calling. Monica. Hello? You did 
What? But has it gotten to that extent? You shouldn't have killed him. Listen, I totally understand how you feel, right? But just calm down. I'm promising you that I would defend you on this very case free of charge. And just have it in mind that you're coming out of it freely. Okay? Because I will personally provide every evidence needed for you to win this case. It's all right. It's fine. What was that? Monica, she poisoned Frank. She said she's in the police custody now. Yes, serves me right. You know, I was trying to tell him to change, but he wouldn't listen to me. I was forming tough guy, tough guy. Then I beg you, hey babe, let's go back to this, okay? Feeding you cucumber. I could feed you cucumber all Feeding night. Feeding us. Huh? Have you? Let's eat together. I am now. <laughs> they have killed my son. They have killed my son. I warned him. I warned your friend. Frank! Frank, where are you? They have finally killed him. Where are you, Frank? Frank, come on! Your body's calling you! Ah! Frank! Frank, where are you? Frank, come! Come! Okay. Your body's calling you! Come! Hey! Hey! I will get to the root of this. Trust me. Look, the man is hey. Frank. Is it for his first study? Yes. Would that be my son? called me at the point of death and told me that Monica poisoned him. Would I bring him back? Mama, as far as I'm alive, I will rubbish that girl. I'll I will rubbish her. Him. I want your friend. He would not let me. Frank, where are you? Monica. Frank! Monica. Frank, your body is calling you. Open your jaws. Frank, you're not going to have money. Your mother, your mother. Your mother. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Leave Monica to me, I will rubbish her. Stop crying. Mama, I will go up here. Mama, Mama, as I speak to you, eh, they are taking her to court tomorrow. I told you, I will personally rubbish her. Tomorrow? Relax, yes, tomorrow. I must be in court tomorrow. Mama, don't worry. At least let me say to my own dad, bitch, that kid, my son. Mama, Frank is my friend. Hey! He's, he's spending me the way he's spending you, man. Hey! Mama, Come and see your mother! Come and see your mother! Come and see your mother! Come on, see your mother! The more you cry, your body is calling you! My lord, permit me to make it clear to this honorable court that the culprit, Mr. Frank Chuku, is nothing but a nuisance to the society, and his death will be a big relief to humanity as a whole. I, Barrister Dima Rosalind Benson, was also a victim of the culprit, Mr. Frank Chuku. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Barrister Rosling, you may continue. Thank you, my lord. The culprit, Mr. Frank Chuku, got me pregnant, squandered my money and ran away. And afterwards, came back to fake his death with the help of his friend, Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian even brought me a newspaper where I read his death that he died in a car crash. Yet another evidence, my lord. Mr. Brian came to my house with an affidavit to enable him have access to Frank's bank account, claiming that he willed every of his property to him. That is the second. Still another evidence, my lord. Objection, my lord. My learned colleague here is trying to intimidate my client. Objection overruled. Mr. Rosling, Thank you, my lord. I have a video where I recorded Frank's mother crying and declaring that the son was dead. She even took me to the grave where he was buried. Please, my lord, permit me to tender all these evidences before the honorable court. Request granted.
Ricky. What? <sighs> Haven't seen all these evidences, my lord. Mr. Frank Chuku died on the 20th March this year. So I put it to this honorable court that my client, Miss Monica Ozo, killed a ghost and not a human. I rest my case. Okay. Having gone through the evidences presented by the defense counsel, I hereby pass my judgment. With evidence before this honorable court, I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that Miss Monica Ozo killed a ghost and not a human being. She is hereby discharged and acquitted. <laughs> and Mr. Brian Ibokwe and Mrs. Olivia Chuku are hereby sentenced to five years imprisonment, <laughs> respectively, for a beating mother. This is my judgment. As the court pleases. Cut. So babe, how'd it go? Can you imagine that the fool was denying in court that he wasn't the one that um, brought the newspaper to me? Mm. Even the affidavit that has a signature on it. Because I presented it at the court as an evidence. They never knew I was that smart. They never saw it coming. You know, my instinct is very, very strong. It is. It is, my darling. At some point, it told me to start keeping records, which I did. So the day the mom took me to Frank's grave, I recorded. Because I was able to secure judgment for my client. Brian and Frank's mother have been sentenced to five years imprisonment. Ah, my super attorney. Huh? You're a very smart lawyer. Yeah, not just a smart lady, which you are. You're a very smart lawyer. See, this is why I love you. You inspire me. Thank Honestly. You, that was wonderful. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Thank you. You are so beautiful, baby. Stop it. <sighs> I have to go. For real? Yeah. Please ensure you keep to the time. I have to see you again. I will see you. I promise. My sweet, sexy angel. Don't ever come close to me. I don't want to see you. I don't want you anywhere close to me right now. I can't believe this is what you do when I'm not around. This is what you go around doing and you say you love me. Sugar. You're supposed to love me. I'm your sugar. What do you mean sugar? Sugar what? Sugar, you're kissing him. Baby, please. I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry. But come on, honey. I'm a human being. not a piece of trash. I've been calling your number all day, but you weren't picking up. So it's my fault. I'm not saying it's your fault, honey. But come on. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I just, I needed to quench my taste and I called my ex to help me do that. So you couldn't hold it together. You couldn't wait a little bit longer. You have to wait your thirst. You couldn't wait. And you claim you love me. Every time, oh, I can't live without you. I'll die if you leave me. That is what you're doing. 
Do you love me? Is this what you're doing? You're saying please because I caught you. If I didn't catch you, you wouldn't be saying please. Babe, it won't happen again. Oh, how, how am I supposed to know that? You know what? I need space. Don't even come. See, I don't want to see you right now. Just stay away from me. Uh, give me your space. I don't want to see you right now. Unless you can do that to me. I can. Because you can't do that to me. If you can do that to me, I can do this to you. Michael, I'm sorry. Alex, please, you have to forgive me. I'm sorry, please. Doctor, the pressure is getting so much. I don't know what to do. Chief is threatening to take me to a hospital. And you know, if he takes me to a hospital that is not yours, people will find out that I am not pregnant. It's four months now. And it's beginning to complain that my stomach is not growing. Don't worry, madam. Let me think of what to do. I will get back to you. Doctor, you need to act fast. I don't want to lose my man. Please. I understand. I'll get back to you, ma'am. Don't worry. We... Mm -hmm. Tonight, mm -hmm. toast. Yeah. Two. To what? Woo! I was hoping it was going to freeze out. Like yeah. We toast to greatness. Yeah. To the greatest attorney of our time. <laughs> What's saying? Oh gosh, babe. Uh -uh. The greatest, the goats. <laughs> babe, you know that you are a man. Oh, what's that? Man, a goat. Hmm? You're the greatest of all time. Greatest of all attorneys. You know? Greatest of all time. You're a goat. You're a man. What does that mean, babe? It means goat. Greatest of all time. You take the first letter of each word. Because you're number one now. Two can do. That's why you're the number one guy. <laughs> babe, babe. You know? Sometimes babe. You, can, you can be a clown sometimes. Babe, I'm not even trying to be. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm being honest. I'm not trying to flatter you. Thank you. I'm not washing. Thank you. You're really that girl. Thank you, my love. Ah. Oh, babes, you know, right now, I am super happy. My heart is at rest now, honestly. I've been vindicated, and my baby will rest in peace. And of course, Frank will be resting in hell as well. The family should know that they never dealt with a riffraff, hmm. but a woman of substance. Thanks. Babe, congratulations once again. Thank you, baby. To a goat of our time. Yeah. Greatest of all time. Yeah, baby. Baby, you're an a man. You've started. I'm telling you. You've started. I'm telling you. Mm. 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 One more, please. One more. Just for the road. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. Let's go eat, baby. Oh, yeah. You know, the first course of the day. Yeah, I know. You're the second course <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Where are you running to? Huh? <laughs> what is on? Honey, why are you crying? crying in this your condition. What is it? It's okay, it's okay, stop crying, come on. Come on, it's okay, talk to me. What is it? Do you need to change your car? If you want to change your car, tell me, I will buy it. Okay? Alright, tell me, what do you want? Whatever you want, I will buy it for you, ah! and baby. What is it? Now you hurt yourself. Oh, what is this? Oh my God. Why this at this time? Why this? Please, get up. We need to rush to the hospital. We need to rush to save the life of the baby. Oh, what is the meaning of all this? It's okay, it's okay, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. It's all right. Hello, who is there? Uh, doctor. Yes, please. You sent for me. 
Yes. How is my wife doing at the gate? Chief, your wife had a miscarriage. And uh, it is normal to women that is stressed up during a pregnancy. Doctor, that is not possible. It's not possible. She doesn't do anything ever since she became pregnant. Eh? I have, I have, I have servants that does all the chores. I have a gate man. I have people that suffer. Why, why be miscarriage now, nah, doctor? Why? Eh? Hi. <sighs> doctor Biko. Are you sure you checked very well? Chief, this is my profession. I checked her very well. I will advise next time when she takes in, you need to do proper checkup on her. And at uh, the same time, I will place her on a medication to make sure that such a thing never happens again. God, God, why? Eh? Why, why is all these things happening to me? Eh? Why? From one calamity to another. Eh? I lost my daughter. And now my only hope of having her heir is, is lost. God, please, forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me. I blame myself for all this. I blame myself. I killed my daughter and now everything about me is in shambles. Eh? Chief, I understand your predicaments. But doctor, you do not understand. You don't. You don't understand. You need to put yourself together. You're a man. God will make this to come. We make available one for you. Oh, doctor. Doctor, it's not easy. I know what I went through. Where's Jennifer? I haven't seen her today. You mean she didn't tell you she was traveling? Jennifer has traveled out of the country to do her masters. So that's her solution. She cheated on me. She just runs away. She cheated on me. Like, this is someone that's saying that she loves me, that she can't live without me. And I saw her cheating on me. She was literally kissing some other guy. I saw them with my own two eyes. If she loves me, how could she do that? Yes, I know, Alex. Who knows the other stuff she's done behind, like, without me seeing them? She told me everything. She told me everything that happened. And she's so, so sorry. <laughs> the more reason why she, she left the country to go do her masters. Alex, as we speak, she's in London. Jennifer is ashamed of facing you. Please, Alex, she's so sorry. You need to forgive her, please. And if you call her, she'll be glad you did. I should call her. What you she cheated on me. Why am I calling her? Call her why? Well, that doesn't even make sense to me. If I call her, she's going to hate me. Like, because of what I would tell her. I don't, I'm not calling her anybody. Please, Alex. Can you just calm down? Please, just calm down. I know it hurts. It's painful. But you have to calm down. Okay? Please. Hello, Austin. I've been trying your number now. Where did you keep your phone? You know Chief has been arrested by the EFCC. We need to act fast and smart. Yes. Let's sell off his properties, his houses, his cars, before his family members comes around and act a fast one on us. Percentage? Look, stop talking about percentage now. Get an agent. When we sell the properties, I'll give you your own share. Let's be fast, please. Okay. I'll be waiting. I called both of you here. Because one of our biggest clients 
and also a good friend of mine, Chief Benson, is in the custody of the FCC. The man has done enough in my life. And because of that man, I see him as a justice. Good turn deserves another. That's why I call both of you as smart lawyers. We have in this chamber. But Alex, I want you to present this chamber at the court. I know you are smart. I'm counting on you because I know that you have handled many cases that is bigger than this one that brought a lot of money in this table. That's very done, sir. Okay. It's such an honor to be bestowed with this opportunity. Thank you so much. What date is the court hearing? On Monday at GRA, Court 1. Okay. I'll immerse myself in the job I'll be ready for for Monday. Uh, yeah, babe, I have a case to defend on Monday, Jerry Court 1. You know, it's one of our biggest clients, you know, my boss's main benefactor. So. What a coincidence. I also have a court to defend at GRA Court 1 under the EFCC. It's a fraud case, but I don't know the time yet. Are you serious? Yeah. So we have a case to defend on Monday. Exactly. So we're leaving at the same time. We're leaving together. Yeah. Babe, I know that you're going to make me proud. You're the GOAT now. The greatest of all time. Oh, baby. The one and only man. Oh, baby. Of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this easy? It's, 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 my crowd is worrying Yes, you know? I understand, my Seriously. love. Seriously. <laughs> mm. right. Oh, baby, I just wish we could just sit at the same time. I mean, I can't wait to watch you exhibit your jury's charisma. You know you're such a smart lawyer. Ah. Babes, just do your thing, make me proud, and of course, come back to tell me how you all went. Of course, baby. You're the graces of all time. I know. And I'll tell you how my ones after you tell me how you slayed in court. Of course. You slay in court with no <laughs> mercy. Mm. Mm. Of course. Uh, uh, <laughs> do not start what you cannot do. No, finish. I will finish everything. Hey, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Permit me to introduce to you the latest millionaire in town. Thank you. Case number FHC slash 11C between EFCC and Chief Benson. Chief Benson, are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm a Christian. You're going to swear to this Bible. That whatever you are going to say to this honorable court should be nothing but the truth. I swear. That you, Chief Benson, owner of Benson and Sons Company, on the 12th of October, was accused of fraud and money laundry by Laruji's Company Limited. Chief Benson, are you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. My lord, he pleads not guilty. Counsel, you may proceed. 
my lord, my client here was impersonated by his manager who used his company name to carry out illegal business schemes. The innocence of my client is crystallized by the lack of his signature, the symbol of the documents associated with the illegal business scheme. So I maintain the position that my client is innocent of these allegations. Objection, my lord. With respect to my learned colleague, the court needs to know that his client connived with his manager to plan this business deal. For he is the legal owner of that company and needs to know whenever things happen in the company. Objection, my lord. When you run a business of the size of Chief Benson or something, he said it's impossible to know every single thing that goes on in the company. My client here was unaware of the illegal business scheme being carried out by his manager. He's innocent. Objection, my lord. Objection, Varun. Panzer, you may proceed. My colleague here believes that my client could not with his staff to carry out this illegal scheme. But if he did so, why are there no traces? of his signature on any of the documents. I maintain, my learned colleague, that my client is definitely not good. Objection, my lord. Objection, overruled. Can't you may proceed. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> I'd like to bring this to this honorable court, with all due respect, the request for an appeal to grant my client's bail because of his health conditions. Bell condition for this offense demands a civilian who has a landed property in GRA and 15 level officer. Already provided, sir. Barista Rosi, do you have anything to say to that? For the very first time, my lord, I align with my learned colleague if he meets the bail condition, the court might grant him bail. The accused person should appear in the next court sitting. I hereby I join this case the 15th of November. Ask the court, please. Court, right. Hello, Chief. Uh, Barrister, please, that uh, female lawyer that just dashed out, the one that stood against me, uh, where, where has she gone to? Uh, why? Is there a problem? Uh, not at all. There's no problem. Um, do you know her? Yeah, I happen to know her. You know, she's my fiance. You know, <laughs> we're kind of shocked that we're going against each other on this case. Mm. You know? Biko, uh, my brother, I would like to, I would like to meet her. I would like to meet her, please. Why? You will not understand. It's very important. That uh, female lawyer looks like my missing daughter. I'll be very grateful if you can take me to meet her, please. Please. Um. Because. No, 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 babe, I totally understand how you... No, you don't. No, 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 babe, I, no, no, I totally understand. Just calm down, please. please. Just, no, babe, please. Babe, you don't understand how I feel. This man disowned me. He disowned me because of his selfish political career. He made my life miserable. You were here. You witnessed everything that happened. All I went through because of him. And now you're telling me to be calm. How on earth do you expect me to calm down? I don't even expect you to be calm. I don't, but you're special, baby. You have a great heart. I know you. Okay, please, for the love you have for me, please just hear him out. That's all. It's I not have. that easy. It's not that easy. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You look so beautiful right now, babe. I'm going to kneel down. No, 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 no. Please. 
Alex, you know you mean a lot to me. I love you so much that I can't even say no to you. If you want me to speak with him, yes. I will. Just let him in. Sir, please, 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 just have a seat, yeah? I'm sorry, my daughter, please. I'm very sorry. My daughter, please. Like I was saying, I have been through a lot looking for you. I suffered. I really, really suffered that. If not for this man seated right here, I don't know what my life would have been turned into. I don't know. He's the one God sent to wipe my tears and make me happy again. Why is my own father never cared? It's okay, my daughter. Thank God you're alive. Please. Where is your child? <gasps> I lost the baby. Please, I am very sorry for everything I've done. I am very sorry. Even on your birthday, I celebrated in your absence, thinking you are dead. Please forgive me. By my mother. Oh. Your mother is dead. Ah. What? She died the very day. We heard about the news thinking you are dead. Her beat you rose and she gave us. No! 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have been a fool. Please forgive me. No. A visitor? No, I, I I was just trying to make an experiment with the glass. Yeah, because I'm wondering why you're drinking with two glasses of wine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's all right. Um, honey, I'm a very happy man. I have never been this happy in my life. Do you know that my daughter that I've been singing like a song to you? She was the one that granted me bell in the court today. Your daughter is alive. My daughter is alive. My daughter is alive. 
that her identity that was brought to us was stolen. The lady that stole her purse was trying to run away and she was not done. We have been mourning a thief all this while, not my daughter. My daughter is alive. Wow. <laughs> That's good news. Very good news. Very big one. I can't wait to see her. At least now, I have a daughter-in-law. You do? In fact, eh, this calls for celebration. Go get more wine. Let me join you. Go and get more wine. Let me join you. Here, ladies. Go and get more wine. <sighs> I thought I had just leveled in vain. My lord, I believe the culprit is of legal age and he should be charged with fraud, impersonation, and money laundering, not my client over here. Because his signature is littered on the documents of the illegal business scheme. And not one document bears the signature of my client. So the culprit over here is definitely guilty. My lord, I want to align with the defense counsel. Let the culprit be charged, not the innocent man. For fraud, forgery, and At the risk of pissing off the great Peter Dochi, I go down on one knee and I ask you, I plead with you, please make me the happiest man in the world. Would you please marry me? Say yes. Say yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. to see your daughter. I made this special delicacy for her. Don't be in a hurry. I've called them already. I'm sure they'll soon be here. Okay. They should be going to the home. I think they're going home. I came with my chief. Is she your daughter we've been waiting for? Yeah. She's the mama my daughter. School is indeed a small place. Chief, I maltreated her so badly to the extent of almost killing her. You did what? How could you be this wicked and heartless? Sir, please just calm down. She's actually my sister. She is your sister? My blood sister. I'm sorry. I just knew all of these things were just more than a mere coincidence. At first, she came back home with a wristwatch that looked exactly like the one my father got for me in one of his trips to London, as if that wasn't enough. 
she came back home with exactly the car my father gave me as a birthday gift with the same plate number which actually raised my eyebrow but I wasn't too sure and then lastly the bottle umbrella that you got for me the pink one she came back with it I was surprised I wanted to talk because it was just too much for me to bear but I just couldn't because of the maltreatment she gave me while I was living with them my daughter I am very sorry you, you see I, I started giving those things out because they were bringing back your memory to me and it hurts so much. It makes me feel like I pushed you out to die, not knowing that you're even alive. I'm sorry. Rosie, please forgive me. Please. I understand. But I have one thing to tell you. Yes, I have forgiven you. I bear no grudges against you. But I believe this must have taught you a great lesson. You don't treat people like that. The world is a small place and life itself is vanity upon vanity. I forgive you. We okay. went through a lot, a whole lot. Just the other day we were involved in a, in a shootout in our house, you know? And I'm sure it's connected to the murder case Rosie handled. Because ever since then we've been getting death threats. You know, but at least I'm happy nothing happened to us. Look, both of you are not going back to the house again. I'm going to give you a house in the GRA. Okay? Thank you, sir. Everything you need is already there. All you guys need is to get your bags and move in. Thank you, sir. And even this is your law profession, I think you need to discard it. I mean, it's very risky. You keep creating an enmity for yourself every day. Thank you. And as soon as you're done with your aviation course, I would like you to go to Lagos and handle my traveling agency. Okay? Wow. Thank you, sir. It's all right. It's all right. Rosie, please, can we go somewhere and talk? Come back to the arms of love, baby. Come back to me. 